Hello. Oh. Nine fingers? Hold on. I I tried to add nine fingers to this deck. Not to interrupt my own intro. Uh, but hello, everybody. Welcome to the rodeo. Mimi Wheeler. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? Uh, it's a Tuesday. And it's a cool Tuesday in Victoria. It, uh, it rained heavily yesterday. And it rained overnight. And now it's a very damp, chill Tuesday. Which is very much welcome. All the plants are so happy. Glad to have it. Good to see it. Uh, and glad to see you, chat. Uh, will this alley invasion please get out of my way? Because I thought Fingers... Fingers isn't in here. Yeah, Fingers isn't in here. I was under the impression that maybe it was. Uh, but... I As soon as you said I was like, oh, maybe I missed it. Uh, welcome to the rodeo. I'm doing some real bullshit today. Uh, how you go... I'm playing Gates. I'm playing Maze's End. Right here. I'm playing Gladiator Maze's End. And I have 48 lands in my deck. Um, I think this deck is not very good. Oh, hold on. There is, but uh, let me get this. Uh, Maze's End. There should be the Moxfield overlay uh, that you can get the deck list from there. But there's well, also a deck list command. But thank you for reminding me to update it. How dare no. you. There you go. Um, I don't know how many changes you can make to this deck while still keeping it a dedicated Maze's End deck. Because I really just want to kill with Maze's End. Um, I feel like I, there's a couple of takes that I have with this. One... I could add some other top end cards. I could add more uh, sweepers or removal spells. Um, and we are going to slowly trickle down from 48 lands to maybe landing around 46 or 45. Like if I feel like I want to add some of those other cards. Um, number two, folks in this community... Uh, folks that watch this and that tend to uh, like to play every stream tend to prefer aggro. And I feel like this is a deck that is going to struggle more with an aggressive deck than anything. Um, this is something where if we're against a more controlling shell or a mid-range shell or like, a, like an engine kind of deck, uh, we can have a better shot. It might not be that great, but... Uh, in the end, but uh, I think we'll have a better shot against that rather than one drop, two drop. We do not have ways of dealing with Ragathon other than like Arboreal Grazer or Kami. And that might be an issue, but we'll see. And three... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, this, this seemed like a fun little thing that I wanted to try. I'll see how it goes. There are some other cards, like uh, HD was mentioning Feldar Retreat and Sun Titan. Sun Titan is probably fine. I want to avoid double white. Like I have, uh, this deck is obviously mostly green. And then with red and blue as the supporting colors. White as the, there's a couple of white cards here. Um, and then black just because find the old gods can find gates and kills a thing, and I need ways of killing things. Uh, and the Gitrog monster is, well, it's the Gitrog monster. Is it rude to play aggressive today or good testing? I mean, you can play whatever you want. Don't let me dictate uh, what you are playing. Whatever you want to play and enjoy, you can do so. Uh, how satisfied, like, because that's your time, right? If you think that your time up at bat today is going to be best used by killing me on turn four, both games, or turn three, then power to you. Power to you. Find the old guys can find gates. So it can find, sorry, it can find a gate. 
uh, it can find a forest, and it doesn't have to be a uh, basic forest. So it can find the gate to Manorborn. So it destroys something and then finds us another gate, specifically this gate. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm fully prepared for this deck to be dog shit, but that's okay. It's uh, it's kind of goofy. Some of the new cards that we have in here, uh, I'm playing Sylvan Scrying. I don't have Thespian Stage in here because it doesn't really do much. Like, I guess it gives me more gates. Maybe it's just a free roll, but I'm kind of, I'm more paranoid about my mana than I would have uh, expected to be. Um, It doesn't work with Maze's End. I guess it kind of works with Baldur's Gate, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, no Thespian Stage here. Not yet. Uh, I do have Blood Braid Elf. Blood Braid Elf's kind of funny. It's just... We can go from two to four, and uh, it's a four drop that ideally just sets us up for one of our many three drops. That's it. There are a couple of, like, Gates of Blaze is a bit of a whiff, but that's that's it. Like, Bloodbraid Elf just is two bodies, and one of the bodies is going to be a three mana card. I mean, I guess Nyssa is a whiff, Finality's a whiff. Wait, maybe this card's bad. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Um, I got Prime Time. Prime Time's obviously absurd in this deck. Um, well, I'm, I'm just here to goof around. I'm going to, I've got to put on the music. I don't know why I turned off the music. I'm just here to, I'm just here to goof. It's Tuesday. Let's goof around. Let's relax. Uh, and let me say thank you to the folks that subscribed during the intro. And then I have a bunch of other plugs. Uh, Mr. Creeper Phil, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Uh, thank you for the support. It means a lot to me. Uh, Zoltaris for the third month. Welcome to Gates R Us. Did you know that uh, Toys R Us did not close in Canada? In fact, there's a new Toys R Us opening in Victoria. Like, I think by fall. Wild, huh? Uh, PCGL Brock, welcome back uh, for the seventh month as well. Uh, much like every Commander deck, my sub anniversary is seven. Very good. No, that's great. No Gate Colossus. Yeah, that's another card that I want, didn't want to play because it's just kind of like a big idiot, right? I could play, yeah, I could play the uh, the Land Cyclers. Like Gate Colossus is just kind of a big idiot. I don't actually know if I want to draw it that often. Um, I mean, I can put it over here. Sure, why not? My maybe board right now is Gatebreaker, Ram, Gate Colossus, and Emrakul. And then there are just more stuff. It can be a big, free big idiot. Yeah, but I, I think this deck might... I mean, I guess I have a reasonable amount of creatures. Like, I don't think being a, a giant vanilla creature really is where I want to be. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Kath Guac... Welcome back for the third month. Tree. Un, de, tree. Thank you for the support. Also, thank you to Card Kingdom sponsoring the channel. Cardkingdom.com slash Wheeler. Use that link when you pick up your own gate cards, I guess. You could probably buy some gates. Build gates and... Build gates and commander. Uh, gate, gate away. Also, uh, this month we're sponsored by HelloFresh. Uh... We did the like first part of our sponsored requirement yesterday. Um, and we're going to be doing the second part where I actually cook the food live once it arrives. Uh, but you can use that link and code POGHF112637 uh, for 50% off and free shipping. And uh, yeah, HelloFresh is uh, cool and good and also uh, pretty reasonable with that 50% off. You can sign up and immediately cancel. Has it arrived already? No, because it comes, it's like weekly, right? So it's gonna arrive for next week. At the beginning of next week. Um, Let me <clears throat> do Enchant Worldle. Did I not set up my Enchant Worldle? Weird. Probably because I was watching too much Street Fighter. I've been watching so much Street Fighter stuff and unfortunately not playing any Street Fighter because I have been working all day, every day. And so I get home and it's like nine o'clock and I'm like, 
I don't think my reactions could handle Street Fighter right now. Uh, okay, so it's a three mana card that's at rare or mythic rare that is neither an enchantment or a creature and it's newer. Newer than 2014. Uh, how about... Three mana, what's a three mana red? I mean, arc bond, let's go with arc bond. Three mana red instant. Three mana rare instant, okay. Uh, it's not red, it's not black, it's not uh, green. Okay, how about, uh, oh shit. Why can't I remember the actual name of the addendum card? Un, un, Defy, un, un, uh, un, uh, 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 shit. Uh, everybody's indestructible. You play it on your main phase. Un, unbreakable something? Is it unbreakable, unbreakable formation? Yeah, bond is the other card. Okay, so it's not white. So it's a three mana rare blue instant. Uh, Admiral's Orders. Great. Three mana rare blue instant from 2016 or 2017. Uh, this is... Three mana rare blue instant. From 2016, 2017. Disallow is from Kaladesh. We could do disallow. Okay, it's from Kaladesh. Three mana blue rare from Kaladesh at instant. Three mana blue rare. Were of Invention? No, that's Aether Revolt. Three mana blue rare from Kaladesh that is after D? After D's nuts. <laughs> oh, this is Aether Revolt, huh? Ho 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 ho. <laughs> these I never get I, I can never get these set symbols right until like it took a second we're like what? <laughs> what? Okay, that was pretty easy. It's always nice when it's like a playable card. Even if like I mean once you hit disallow, then you know it's gotta be word of invention. And disallow is a playable card. So it's nice to just be like, oh, okay, good. Easy peasy. Just had to get the color right. Although it took long, but that's fine. Okay, let's let's just play this fucking deck. Let's do it. I'm I'm uh, the, no no fussing about. No fussing about. Now I was uh, pleasantly surprised by the Just Guy Pyromancer deck yesterday. We did pretty well with it. Um, we had a. Uh, a positive win rate. I think we only dropped two matches, maybe, over the day. That felt pretty good. Uh, this stack, I don't know. Oh, what up, Sheepin? How you doing? How you been, bud? Oh, okay. Well, we only have one gate. I can't cast anything here. Put a mulligan. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this, and I'm going to bottom that because we have a turn one Elvish Mystic. Huh? Oh, I could play Thalion to get Rock Monster here. Well, this is, so this is what you wanted to do, huh? This is the life you've chosen. Yeah, I should put Thalion to get Rock Monster in this deck. Oh, that's rude. Ooh, Courser of Crufix or Tireless Provisioner. Provisioner is going to give me the mana so that I can get Rog or I can Binding. Courser is going to actually let me hit more lands. I think I'm going to start with Courser because my deck has 48 lands in it. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, let's play this. Oh, I don't have Oracle of Moldiah in this list. Hold on, let me write some of these land cards I'm missing. Oracle of Moldaya. I have I have the vascular druid in here. Kelly and Gitrog. Ooh, a conduit of worlds. Okay. I'm gonna play my tireless provisioner. I'm gonna play a gate. I make a treasure token. I'm gonna pass. Bit hard to see the library under the oh library and graveyard. I mean, you don't have to see the graveyard. The library is relevant because we have Corsor of Crufix here. Here we go. My opponent's pet is now Hello Fresh, or my pet is now Hello Fresh. That's a good sign if they're cracking this. My pet is now a snack. Mammoth, okay. Mammoth can push for a lot of damage. Oh, that's a gate, all right. Gitrog lets me play another land here. I think I'm okay with that. Because we have this Conduit of Worlds too. So we can start like just playing lands from our graveyard. Just give me a bunch of treasure. I don't really want that Odawara. So I'm just going to Binding. Because we could Binding here get rid of this Giver of Ruins. And then uh, we can get this Odawara off the top of my library. Or, oh no, because this happens in... Uh, um, right, main phase. For whatever reason, I was like, upkeep. In my head, I was like, upkeep. Drawing the Odawara is not that bad. It's a utility land. Is there a world where I just trade with my, my Gitrog and the Kazandu Mammoth? I could just take seven. Take seven and then next turn just block with this. Uh, I'm just going to take seven here, actually. I mean, even if they get the Get Rog monster off the board, we got plenty of life to work with here. Um, I'll sack this Besage. Swords is a good draw. Find my gate. Oh, there it is. The maze's end. I said it like I was uh, in some like DreamWorks movie. There it is. The maze's end. Oh, fuck. Guild Summit. Yes, please. Sacrifice this, draw two cards, so we can now guild summit. Uh, I could use my treasure to guild summit here. Hmm. I could also swords and then witness the swords, which is kind of hot. Um... I think I'm just going to guild summit and then tap my gate and keep my treasure. I could have maybe sacked both treasures, but I liked I liked what Auto Tapper was uh, was putting out here. Just give me more treasure. Yeah, so now I have both Odawara and 
swords as an option here. I don't want to attack because I don't want to expose anything to the Wandering Emperor. <clears throat> yeah, or like a Settle the Wreckage. Yeah, we can Hour Promise next turn for some gates. My gate count is currently one, two, three, four. Ooh, Cosmic Rebirth. I mean, if they attack with the Mammoth, I'm going to block with the swords, or block with the Gitrog and then swords the Mammoth. They could also try to give her. I mean, if you attack like this. Like, you don't have another. Unless they have an instant speed landfall here. This is okay. If they then play something afterwards, like that, yeah, we can just total war at this. Ooh, and we draw off the... Ooh! <laughs> okay! Okay. Okay. It's a good, good way to start the day. Good way to start the day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to see, I get hands like this and I have to think like, is this actually, is this a hand I can keep? <laughs> Bloodbraid Elf's not that bad. Obviously, the swords is like a turn three swords to plowshares. Oh, this isn't a gate. Never mind. I'm off it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you actually scarier than this dryad? I mean, defensively, I prefer. Oh, yeah. Turn two, Dryad into a gate, into another gate, into Securitas route. God, I want to craft this deck. I mean, it's not that many wild cards. Like, there are not that many cards in here that use rare mythic wild cards that, you know, are that outlandish. You know? One thing about the Dryad is that because they're green-white, they have Knight of Autumn in their deck. Uh-oh. That's a little tough. Oh, that's a good gate. I mean... I only have three gates. Oh, this is going to be miserable to use, right? Oh, no, this itself is a gate, so... No, I still have three gates. I only have three gates. Try it's making it worse. Okay, so I can get the manners here. Um, like, I can find myself a gate to Mannerborn... Or do I want to, I want to keep this in my deck in case I get the, uh, um, the, whatchamacallit, Binding of the Old Gods. All right, we're hellbent, but we have a lot of mana. But they have a clock. That's pretty scary. Uh, Padmore, thank you for the 46 oh, months. That's a long-ass time. How you doing, how you been? I feel like I started saying thank you, and then I got distracted by gates. Uh, CJ Wilson, welcome back for the 11th month. Jesus. I swear it was like 10 months, like four days ago. Oh, well, take my money. I mean, I'll do just that. Uh, thank you. Oh, maybe I should play this card. Hollow Henge Wrangler. Ooh, I can get an uncounterable Rada. Actually, Rada's kind of hot, right? Oh, first strike only on attacking. I mean, that's still, it still bricks this card. I mean, 
they're green white. They likely have some kind of removal. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Eggs, eggs. All right. I mean, we could trade with the questing beast. Uh, Turks Wake, welcome back for the 38th month. Uh, 38 months, that's a long time. It's over three years. Maybe I should play this. Hollowhenge Wrangler. I mean, it is raw to... I've activated the lesbians in chat. The lesbians were always activated. Yeah, I think I'm going to wrangle some dangles in this uh, in this deck. Yeah, they never need the activation. Have you seen the Discord? The Discord is just filled with lesbians that have like the light switch of like on and off and it's stuck to on with a bunch of tape over it that just has like a sticky note below that says do not turn off. Or like if you turn this off, it will explode. Um. Yeah, I think I want to trade here, right? You and you. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, it's only four. Wow, and here I thought I was popping off. Hello? Why won't it let me play? I would like to add a bunch of green mana using one and one. I definitely thought I had a lot more mana. <laughs> and we love them for it. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, shit. It's a hollow hinge beast. This card is kind of scary. And you can just keep doing this. And you can activate this while it's in the graveyard. Holy shit. Yeah, that card's great. Scry two and draw a card. I don't need to play an additional land this turn. Um, I think I'm actually just taking a gate, said the Provisioner. And so this can add one, two, three, four, five, six. Other gates. Okay, it, it is a gate, but it counts for other gates. So you'll have to excuse me. I have yet to play with this card. So that's why I was so confused about the mana. So this adds five. So I can do five, six, seven, which is not enough because these effectively need five, but I can activate one of these and see if we hit something. Uh, I guess I want to keep these creatures up as blockers. We have the Dryad, so we're pretty, pretty good no matter what. Oh, uh, I don't have enough mana. No. Shit. 
Okay. Well, Golos is a good draw. That gets us to Maze's end if we want. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, we can get into we can Golos plus spin Golos, which is kind of nice. Do I need probably the best draw in the deck? Uh, no, I think Ugin would be the best. I might throw this under the bus. How much do I need this compared to, like, can I just get there with Wingus and Dingus over here? I mean, I could probably throw away one of these. <clears throat> no fear, take 11. Uh, well, my opponent showed that they had pump spells. I don't know. There's a little fear. One fear. Yeah, I gotta get myself a hollow hand wrangler. Just because it's a five mana six six that ETPs and seeks. <sighs> oh, this is pretty huge on this board. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shit, I should have blocked with this. I knew it. Is there a way that I can just cast this without the Boulder's Gate? One, two, three. Because this just adds... This is just going to be X of one color, so this is actually not what I want to do. I mean, I might not even do this all in one turn. I could get Plaza of Heroes to gain some life. Do I just get... Pl if I get Plaza Heroes and I gain three life, uh, it doesn't really change how I block. Maze's End isn't a gate. But Mesa Zen might be the only way we win this game. Activate our Nissa. Okay. Sequencing wasn't great, but that's fine. We're still learning this deck. I did the math on the... I, I thought I did the math on the mana for the, the Golos. Um, but I think it's because in my head, I was like, I could do this because even if I X the activation of Golos, I'm already just paying one. You know, I can like pay... I could just pay one of the colored pips for Golos' activation with this. What? Why are you doing this? Don't you attack me. If... You're attacking me. You're attacking Nissa. You're attacking Nissa. You're attacking me. You're attacking me. So this means that I can block like this and keep my Golos, right? And I still get Nissa in play, which means I can still put lands into play, or I could scry to for my Golos. Unless they have like a, I mean, if they have a swords, they would have swords last time. Yeah, I don't understand that attack. Um, so do I scry? I could scry for Golos. I have 10 or more gates, I win the game. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I currently have only six gates. 
This can be seven. So I need to hit more gates with this. I'm gonna scry. <clears throat> this can hit two gates. So I'm going to keep cartographer survey on top. And then bottom that. Do you see that shit? Do you see what it's trying to do to me? Gonna give me a heart attack here. Wait, hold on. That's not what I want to do. I don't want you to tap that. White, green, black, red. All right, here we go. Shit. <laughs> oh, come on. Two whiffs. Uh, is there any way that I can... I could... Can I rebind it? No, obviously I have to play this. Oh, we, we kept whiffing. Okay. All right, well... I think mostly this was the right plan. I like the scry. And we lose with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven gates. Yeah, I'm fort. <clears throat> okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. This is why we got game threes. <laughs> That's why we got game threes. Ooh. So this doesn't actually do anything, right? I think there are some worse cards that I need to add to this deck. It doesn't really do anything. This hand has an Uro. So I'm going to keep it. Even though it's a little painful. I think I put scape shift on the bottom here. No Thran portal? No. The pain lands are kind of an interesting. I went with them because I just was worried about untapped lands. I just like so many of my, so many of my lands come into play tapped. Um, I think I'm just getting a green land here, right? And then playing Elvish Mystic. Getting Botanical Sanctum. Playing this Elvish Mystic. And then if we draw an untapped land, I can Hour of Promise. This Uro can potentially help us. Do we have basics? Yeah, I got like seven basics or something. Oh, I could, oh no, this only cares about basic lands, right? Let the sun shine upon this law. All right, let's get burrowing. Ooh. Anybody know why Arena seems so hesitant to reprint Rampant Growth? That card's been a staple for ages. Is it a problem for Arena? Uh, I mean, two mana ramp effects are, for the longest time, they're not exactly conducive to a healthy environment. I think that's changed a bit. Holy shit. Yeah, this questing beast is just going to kill me, isn't it? I think that's changed a bit, but it's probably still just not something that they're super excited to have. Um... I 
think I like Maze's End and a land that sacrifices itself to draw a card. So that we can get closer to this arrow. Questing Beast might actually be one of the worst cards for us. Or that or like the three mana Thalia. Because so so many of our like survival options are just like, you know, I'm going to block you with my Arboreal Grazer or my Kami of Bamboo Groves, that sort of thing. Uh, that one Ben guy, welcome back for the second month. Uh, oh boy, I love Maze's End. I'm sure nothingness bad, nothing bad can happen to the Maze Enders. No, why would it? Okay, so this gives us Uro at least. Uh, do I, am I going to have enough mana? I'm going to have enough mana to tap this Maze's End. Oh shit, I don't have enough mana. <laughs> or enough cards of my graveyard. Right, because I can't do that. Oh. Uh okay, I'm probably dead this game. Mm. I don't have any white mana. Should I include more gates in my deck? I don't know if that actually helps. <laughs> it's okay. We're working out the kinks in this deck. It's going to take some time. I have all 10 guild gates. I've got all five of the manners. Um... And I have all, um, I have basically every gate except for Thran Portal. Eggs, and eggs, I don't have uh, cheese, Gateway Plaza. I could add Gateway Plaza. I don't have Stage in here, but Stage doesn't actually work with Maze's End. Because they need to have di uh, different names. Uh, Logan, welcome back for the 31st month. How are you doing? Wait, so is my stupid pet Gates deck good now? Uh, 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 when you say good, wait, hold on. Why are you trying to, you're trying to hurt me here? Green, green, blue, blue. Oh, that's why you're trying to hurt me. Should have got the, play this. Is that one life going to matter? I mean, I'm not mazes ending anytime soon. This card also should probably get cut. It doesn't really do anything. Oh yeah, this Uro is going to uh, get exiled. They have a Tyvar stance, so we're just dead, right? Pack with everything, I block here, here, one, two. I guess they don't have that much mana. We do have outs, like if they tie our stand here, we have uh, our devastation. There's a chance we should include uh, another wrath. I don't want to play too many though. We can make like the domain wrath doesn't even like work for what we're trying to do. Traverse seems bad. Yeah, I just really wanted like a way late game because we do have a diverse set of. Uh, permanent type, so hitting Delirium is not that difficult. Obviously, this is a game where we've erode, uh, but like we have Delirium in our graveyard, right? Um, and it's a way for me to get it untapped. If I have like two tap lands uh, and this deck has so many three drops, it's a way for me to like tap green source, untap, another tap green source, traverse for my untap green, and then untap and play my engine. Okay. We have, we have an out. We have a way to actually win this game or to like clear this board. We just have to believe 
many gates do I have? I only have two. This is going to be the third. Holy shit. This deck's, not, <laughs> this, this deck's a thing. Okay, come on. Our devastation. Come on, Hour of Devastation. Okay, but look at how many gates I have. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, okay. All right, 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 all right. Yeah, Ugin would have worked too. Okay. Uh, we could have gates ablazed as well. We had, we had several outs actually. Okay. We had several outs. So there are a couple of uh, lands cards that I missed <laughs> when I was putting this together. A couple of lands cards we missed, uh, GGHD. Um, we won our first game and we won, a, we won a game, which shows that we are capable of winning games, which is huge news. <laughs> like, that is so big. Uh, hold on, AMC. I could play this. Is this just better than Traverse in this deck? Dig Up is probably better than Traverse too. Wow, there's so many cards that would have been better than this card I played. Um, I think all that's fine. I could play this because it just lets me play an additional land and it gains life. Oh yeah, Azusa's Many Journeys, get in here. I could play Broken Bond. Ooh. I already have druid class. I don't want to play too many like creature creatures, you know? Dig up. I know dig up only gets basics, but it does let me hit my basic land and also just like tutors, which is kind of important. Um. What? No, I could play, what is it? Lanawar Druid or Lanawar Scout. Let's me put a land for my hand to play. It just eats a removal spell and puts me down a card. <laughs> like, I think we might be, I could play Azusa. You know what, fuck it. We're a d for a deck like this, I think we have to go as deep as Azusa. Um. What do you do? Nope. Azusa is just like not actually that good of a card, you know? She dies to the, so many things. We could play Scoot Swarm. Scoot Swarm actually is probably pretty, uh, I thought I had. Uh, I wanted Scoots. I want Mooly Dooly. What do you do again? You sack the land and make the two things. Do you tutor a land? Basic land. Get the Mooly Dooly in here. The Mooly Dooly noted. Uh, I want this Hollow Hinge Wrangler. And I want. Dahlia and the Gitrog, which I haven't actually crafted. This is my last mythic card. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So we're off Traverse. I don't actually think I need Kogla and Yadaro, the top end. Um, Woodbread Elf might be unnecessary. Timeless Witness also might be unnecessary. Yeah, who gives a shit about Timeless Witness? Get out of here. Um, probably don't need... Pathways? Is the Gurk good? Uh... I don't know if I want to be Gurk in it, you know? I might actually not play Azusa. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play this. It's 
Oh, wait, I have to craft this card? Great. Unfort. I know I'm way behind on the time. Before I get into this match, hold on. I know I'm way behind on the, behind on the times, but when I was looking through the store, if it's going to let me do it, um, well, that's a good swamp. I was looking through the store. Is that unfeatured? Where was it? Is there to wake in the woods? It doesn't really do what I'm looking to do. It just, I mean, it makes a bunch of lands, but it doesn't make, uh, make the lands I want. Where is it? Where? This shit was so funny to me for uh, two reasons. One, I thought there was a larger bundle. Like I remember there being a discussion about buying a bunch of wild cards. Right? Um, but this is so fucked. A, a fake, like a digital mythic being five American dollars is so wild to me. Not to mention there's a limit on these. So even if you were like just going to drop a shitload of money to build every deck you wanted, like you, it just stops you. Why? <laughs> Why does it stop you? Get the discounted draft token? I don't know. All my drafts are paid for. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, you can't buy a single wild card. It baffling. I knew that there was a bunch of kerfuffle and discourse about it, but I remember it being like $50 for a big wild card bundle. And people, I thought people were upset because there was no option for smaller amounts. Like it was either $50 or nothing. Ooh. This hand has playable magic cards, technically. Let the sun shine. This upon looks this like, Lord oh, I'm, I'm dead. I was going to say this, this looks like, this looks like a, a gladiator deck I built in like the first year. Uh, dirt is dirt. Uh, welcome back for the second month. How you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for all the support. Glad to have you. And may I say good to see you. Sand looks like I forced gates and cube. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you? I love it. I currently have two gates. Oh, that joke's on you. This card doesn't do anything. Where'd all my gates go? Don't really want a gate to blaze on this board. <laughs> I get to drop this Hydra on turn one, that's, or turn one, <laughs> on the next turn. It's not that bad. The limit probably for legal slash chargeback reasons to prevent kids from going on a spree. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. That's good pickup too. All right, give me this Maze's End. Turn one Hydra? Yo, this deck's broken. I figured it out. All we need to do to break this deck is cheat. Just play it on turn one, and anytime somebody says like, no, uh just be like, why? It's a one one. What's wrong with that? Okay, this is ideal. This is ideal <laughs> condition here. Uh, Because we get our Hydra back. It's not cheating if they don't notice. So true, bestie. Don't stop trying to tap my maze's end. How many gates do I have? Do I have, actually, do I have to tap my maze's end? One, two, three. I have three gates. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop it or I'm telling mom. Please, for the love of God, let this work. Oh. <laughs> um. I 
What's the gate that lets you pump for gates? Bas is it Basilisk gate? Oh, shit. I wish we had Basilisk gate. Yeah, where's my Basilisk gate arena? Isn't Basilisk gate just... Re yeah, it's really good in Pauper, right? Like, I don't know. That feels like a thing you would want to reinforce players to do. It's like, hey, you like playing this weird Pauper format on Arena? Or like Arena Pauper? I guess Pauper doesn't make them that much money. But I don't know. It's a fan favorite format. Ooh, that's a good hit. I'm doing it. Because I can get rid of their Planeswalker and their Inchblade. And we can activate one of our gates here. <laughs> Hopeful Initiate. Seek. Oh, Scoots? Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, hold on. What is this? What can I finale for? I can finale for prime time. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I should play Scoots first. Get this Plaza Harmony out of my face. Can I do this? This is four, so I have one floating. One, two, three. Play Scoots, and then this is four. So four, five, six, seven, eight. I could play this to leave out the mazes in, but I, I think I'm just tapping mazes in this turn. Be very careful with some of these cards. We're cooking. We we are cooking. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> A do 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 bound a bound a bound a bound 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 bound. Paul, play jungle japes, please. Oh, sick. No play until turn three. Mm. What's Jungle Japes from? Donkey Kong Country. Primeval Titan in Victoria. Primeval Titan was kind of treated as Donkey Kong among a couple of ape enjoyers. Um, I mean, this hand's got to be too slow, right? I could keep it. I mean, on the draw... Yeah, I'm, you know what? Fuck it. I'm keeping it. Okay. He's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. And he's finally back to kick some tail. Untapped gate. Let's go. Wait, shit. This... I mean, it lets me... Cast the Provisioner, which I guess is better. Swords is a good pickup. I mean, this nicely since you're still doing well, but I feel like this deck is the epitome of what kind of land deck I'm trying to build in Gladiator. For too long, we are forced to do lands like this. What do you mean? Oh, I got the Exile. Yeah, you mean the antithesis? Yeah, you can do like a lands, like a more lands mid-range deck is like, I think, an admirable goal. Um, do I need, what am I getting off this? And I guess I don't know what I'm getting, so I should just get this forest. Hi, Mulder. What are you doing, baby? I don't have a basic... Uh, 
I, I don't have a basic, I guess is the way to say it. I could Hydra here and survey next turn. Kind of like the Hydra. I'm going to get a Boros Guild Gate. I think I value my Provisioner more than the Resplendent Angel. So if I do this, if they play like an Exile kind of effect, oh, well. I was gonna say if they had like an Exile creature effect. Uh, do I want a Swords on this? Eggs, eggs, nah, eggs, we can wait GS a turn. Eggs. Nah. Courser of Crucifix. Courser is also help, going to help us gain a bunch of life. Cartographers. Survey. Let the sun shine <laughs> upon this Lord of Cinder. Missing on my gates, but that's okay. Oh, there's prime time. Oh my god. But he's so big. Uh, I'm going to attack here. They might have a Cathar Commando. But I'm going to attack. Uh, Leshy VR. Welcome back for the full year. Holy smokes. Finally the one year badge. Congratulations. It looks great on you. I hope you're doing well and thank you for the support. Uh, and FD Majora for the second month. Which of the M12 Titans would be the most fun to film a lure sketch with? Um, most fun? That's a good question. Most fun. I mean, I'd probably, I, I would be hooting and hollering with Inferno Titan. Prime Time and I would have some good energy. Frost Titan would be really sad. Like that would just be like a, you know, hey, I'm happy you, you know, you felt good enough to hang out, but listen, like it's the vibes. <laughs> They're not doing so well. Mm, I'm actually gonna make a food token. Okay, we've hit them for nine. We have an Ugin in play, a Primeval Titan in our hand, and Sword Splashers, and a 9-9 on the board, plus this layer of the Hydra. Some Titan can't let loose. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Grave Titan brings more friends, which is just, like, kind of awkward, because, like, I didn't want to... Like, I, I didn't... You didn't tell me you were bringing friends? Oh, my God. We... all I wanted. It's all I ever wanted. All I ever needed. Uh, <laughs> Detective K, uh, sorry, Detective Kiwi, welcome back for the fifth month. How are you doing? Hey, Wheeler, I just want to say thanks for inspiring me to get back into magic recently. I got my L1 judge certificate. Congratulations. Uh, glad I could help. Was it from my excellent judging at the Commander Masters PPR? It had to have been, right? Uh, Griffin, please fight me. Primetime knows all the spots, right? Is a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a caveman. But Primetime knows all the spots. Animation module, one mana artifact, uh... If a counter would be placed on uh, a creature or artifact you control, it might be another permanent. You can pay one. If you do, you make a servo. 
then you can pay three to uh, add a counter uh, of any type that is on a permanent, add an additional counter of any type that is on that permanent onto it. It's got very specific wording that I'm not going to be able to remember exactly, but the how you play the card I'm familiar with. Give you two minutes? Okay, well, I could get my ass kicked by Wormy. Uh, Wormy, please fight me. Yeah, the specifics, because I know the, the wording on it is very odd. Also, I have a German copy. I haven't seen an English copy for God knows how long. I didn't see that uh, Min was going to be at uh, YJ for Canlander Night. Cool. Hell yeah. Is he going to be there when Surge is out of... Well, Surge, Surge doesn't show up to Monday nights. He, he says he's too good for us. Oh, I'll keep this. Um, also, I haven't been able to show up to a Monday because of crossing the streams. got a quick judge question for me sure when you cycle cross and tusker do you draw the card then shuffle shuffle the card shuffle then draw or do you stack the triggers how you want great question um if you read the card i'd re recommend reading the card as it would explain the card Ooh, cultivator oh we're both ramping uh channel or not channel. If you cycle it, there's a triggered ability of when you cycle it. And cycling is still on the stack. Meaning that uh, you are not uh, you're not going to draw that card before you get that land out of your deck. Which is the way you probably want it to work. Uh, yeah, Ken Ladder YJ has 10 proxies. Bought a green man. Uh, blue and red, I guess. The blue red gate. I think I like the blue red gate more than getting, um, more than getting mazes end here. I can get mazes end later. Oh shit! Goldspan dragon. Scape shift is kind of funny here. I could spin Golos. Should I just spin Golos? Yeah, I got a lot of pretty good hits. Oh, I could have played the Guild Gate to spin Golos. Oh, and my Maze's End is exiled? Hell yeah, now I can't win. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, let me in! Let me in! This isn't, this is just put a land in your hand and play. Okay, cool. Omnath wins games. Yeah, I feel like I can still win this game, but obviously I can't win it with my cool card. See, I was thinking about not doing this because I can't play a land this turn. Um, so maybe I shouldn't. And uh, I think I should have went with my gut instead of uh, the like, oh, this will be funnier. Oh. fine this card is so big all right dugan show me a eugene you don't let me play additional lands oh i want to scape shift right I mean, I could guild summit and then scape shift. Let me draw a card. Ooh. Ooh. Eggs, eggs, e double G S eggs. And this doesn't really do anything. Waterlog Grove, this and this, right? Like it's, we're not, 
I mean, should I just sack some of these gates? Like, I could sack the mono green gate to just give me better lands. Should I just sack everything? I should just sack everything, right? Uh, Baldur's Gate. Okay. Selesnia Guild Gate. <laughs> Fractos Guild Gate. Uh, this blue gate. Demir Guild Gate. Azorius Guild Gate. Boros Guild Gate. Let's just do this. Holy shit. Yes! <laughs> Unfortunately, most of those Omnath triggers don't do anything. But we can Uro this turn. <laughs> we could also draw an Ugin. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I should Uro first. I should Uro first. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ooh, we. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll put this into play. <laughs> mm, let's explore. <laughs> okay, all right. Bye bye, Ugin. The den of the bugbear over there is pretty scary, though. Um, but if I play out the Wingus and Dingus here. I mean, I'm at 20. I think it's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sam, welcome back for the 52nd month. How are you doing, bud? Uh, just listened to the last casual magic where you called out how long you've been full time. I'm wondering how he knew how long I thought. <laughs> uh, I mean, getting the constant reminders of like, oh, Jesus Christ, how long have we been here? Uh, certainly helps uh, and thank you for all the support I mean that is a, it's so it's it baffling every every time I think about it baffling um, let's start with you green green oh wait hold on <laughs> this this yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, did I get... I got rid of Timeless Witness. Maybe I want to keep some of these. Plaza might be nice. Let's just do this. <clears throat> I'm getting a call from China. Sorry, I'm a little busy. Mm. Two, three, a Ramanap Excavator. Uh, I think if I play this gate, so I'm gonna, how many gates do I have? Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this adds seven. I have seven gates, but this is gonna add six. So if I had six, this is seven. Uh, I could play this to make it eight so that I can Rada plus, or I can Rejuvenator plus hour, I guess what I wanna do. Ooh, 
Hall's a good way of start to start killing my opponent. Mm, Layer of the Hydra is going to be one of these. I don't have any gods, so I don't think I'm getting the World Tree. I think I'm just getting Fiery is lit. Fiery is lit. Okay, so we're going to try to ride out some of the uh, creature lands that we have, or the Uro here. For those that are wondering why I'm not Mazes ending, I exiled Mazes end with my Golos. Like, first time we spun Golos. Okay, we got there. We got there. Also, how intrusive is this HelloFresh thing over here? Mm. I actually don't know if I need to keep it up for every single one. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, here, let's, uh, let's put it over here. Ooh, uh, I'll keep. Mazes end on one. Didn't even notice the ad. Great. I mean, it is the same size as the bear. It's fine. I'll keep, I'll do my corporate, corporate. I'll do my due diligence. Um, I'll play Provisioner. Ooh, yeah, I'll draw a card. Ooh, that's good with Provisioner too. Oh yeah? Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, but how about, what if I played a 5-5 five five and then got to draw a card, huh? Gates of Blaze, there's Gates of Blaze in here. Uh, this isn't gonna gain me any life because I don't have enough gates. I might need to save that life. Uh, so I'm gonna play a gate. I'm going to tempo play and bounce this and kill their Renin Zone. My companion is contractually obligated. That is one nice thing. I mean, not to obviously hashtag sponsored, but I'm saying this more as just like anytime, if I work with a company for like a sponsored thing, it's usually because their mentality is like, hey, Whatever you need to do for your like gameplay or your streaming or whatever your community wants, go for it. Like, don't let us harsh your vibe. And uh, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of my vibes not being harshed. It's one of my favorite things. Treasure. Treasure. Uh, let's get probably some of the these gates. Uh, am I missing any colors? I mean, I have this and I have the Baldur skates. So we're fine. But I can do blue gate, gruel gate. Yeah, provisioner is not a real magic card. Like it's just kind of wild. Ooh, I can attack now. <laughs> not gonna do it. Not this shit again. Well, you can put the shield counter from this on anything. That's wild. Anything gets the shield counter. I 
And this doesn't work against that. I mean, I'm gonna have to gates a bl I'm gonna have to block and then gates a blaze. Uh, this makes tapping my lands kind of awkward. Activate Maze's End. Find a, a gate. What's my gate count at? One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six. I haven't played a land for the turn. I get two lands, so I can play this Fabled Passage. I think I'm going to start off with this. Should maybe make a food. I should probably make a food. Blue is a green. I don't want either of these. I'm going to put a gate from my hand into play. <laughs> Make a food. Um... And then I'm going to crack a couple of these treasure tokens. Activate this Baldur's Gate for red. I'll try to find a thing. Grow spiral, huh? Oh. Gonna activate this and find another card. Oh, I don't have enough mana because I made two food tokens. That's kind of funny. Okay, so how many gates do I have now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven gates. This is eight, so if I can, I can scape shift into activate Maze's End and kill them next turn. <laughs> but I do need to survive. And this thing kills people out of nowhere. Eggs, eggs, e the cat? E -G -S eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I came here to die. <laughs> oh, thank you, Addy. Sorry, get this. I need I need to stop. There's a very la hold on. Give me a second. Kiefer came in. Wait, what do you mean victory? Why oh, you didn't let me gates? You didn't let me scape shift. Oh, I didn't get the scape shift mazes end. I mean that's okay. Uh Geo, welcome back for the third year. Jesus. Three years, three years, three years. Uh, glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? I mean, players are a lot. Uh, it doesn't actually matter. Players can do whatever they want. Uh, uh, we're so close. Uh, yes, you were saying? I just want a really, really, really big hot fudge Okay. Okay, I see. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Oh, Kiefer, Kiefer came to my, Kiefer came to my office and was about to say something and that was interrupted by a very loud weed whacker. I guess some landscaping people are here. Um, and, uh, uh I'm going to keep it. this can turn into a one drop.
yeah, it's not about sportsmanship. Like, it's not... I mean, I told chat no, no, no when it happened. But yeah, it's... Uh, if somebody doesn't want to go through the motions, then that's fine. Obviously, on my end, me going like, oh, no, is for the sake of content. But it's never, like, a rude thing to do. Right? Uh, am I just jamming this guild summit? No, I'm sticking to my finale. On one plan. Ooh, I could just get a... I could get an Arboreal Grazer here. I think I'm getting Arboreal Grazer here instead of a Mana Dork that is just going to die. Are there enough uh, Flying Men and Gladiator to make the deck work? I tried it uh, a while ago. That was like a deck that I really liked to play in Gladiator. Uh, I don't know if it's something that you can play now. Although it was crossing my mind, Chivam. I'd be interested in trying it again. Um, it just needs a couple of things. Hmm. The CTB doesn't work the way you want it to. But if I draw a gate, then I can go Elishnorn and play a gate and draw two, which is kind of hot. Oh, that's fine. You can one ring. I'm not doing shit. I considered playing the one ring in this deck, but then I realized I just don't do anything. Why does it do everything? Uh, because, I don't know, they wanted to make the Lord of the Rings set the most, the highest selling product of all time. <laughs> I'm too, I don't know. Maybe uh, they, I like, for the most powerful item in the whole entire universe of Lord of the Rings, I imagine, I mean, somebody's gonna be like, uh, actually the, uh, the blah blah of the what's its name, is uh, the most powerful uh, relic. Not the One Ring. The One Ring uh, to mortal forces, maybe, but... No. And now, the stars of four kids oh. will sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see... Ailey, thank you for the raid. Uh, welcome, folks. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you, and may I say good to see you. I hope you had a good stream. Uh, we are up to something a little goofy today. Uh, we are playing Gladiator, which isn't that goofy. That part's not goofy. Um, but we're playing Gladiator Gates. I don't think I want to... I think I want to do... We're playing Gladiator Gates, Maze's End. We're currently two and one, which sounds like a lie, but you got to believe me on this one. This deck is a little goofy. I'm holding off on this Elishnorn, by the way, because I want to at least get two draws out of it. But uh, for a Gates deck, we sure have drawn a lot of our uh, non-Gate magic cards. Oh. It's actually the Silmarils. Stopped reading the book. Uh, yeah, because the, uh, <laughs> I don't need to put them on blast. Uh, I guess it was just, uh, there was a, a lesson in, uh, making, uh, people, you know, put their money where their mouth is first. Uh, thanks for having us, man. It's great to be here. Well, thank you for being here. It's great to have you. Okay, Black Source would be nice, because then we could at least not die this questing beast. I can Odawar the questing beast and keep us a little safe. Ooh! 
Okay. Yeah. Um, we're either getting Boulder's Gate or we are getting a black... We could just get the black manor. We have white. We have everything. Um, I could get Rakdos Skilled Gate. I'm just going to look at my mana base four times. Yeah, I should get Rakdos Skilled Gate in case I draw Hour of Devastation. Get to draw a card too. And I get to play another Guild Gate and draw another card. Wow. And another gate. Uh, I I mean, I was reading the Silmarillion on stream. And then I had to postpone two of them because of PPR stuff. Um, and uh, emergency filming things because uh, we didn't have internet. And so it's like, well, we got to do something with this time. But here, one second. Maybe they'll die of the ring. We can only hope. One sec. I gotta move Balder here. Hello. What just happened? Oh, we're at four. <laughs> Mishra's command. I see. get a Baldur's Gate and I'll get a yeah she's back here okay so we might just be dead here we do have a blocker but they're a Jun deck they're dead if we survive this we might be able to we might just die to their own ring but obviously they have so many cards. They could just bolt us. Bone Crusher. Oh, Bone Crusher and Bolt have already been used. So they could kill us with a dragon. Mulder's being uh, constipated, uh, we believe. Uh, and she's uh, going to the vet tomorrow. And uh, I'm being a classic, like, is my cat okay? <laughs> is she doing anything weird? Do I have Plaza of Harmony in my deck? Yes.
What's our gate count at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So with the cards in hand, we at least have seven gates. We don't have a maze's end, which might be the biggest issue. I don't know. I feel like, shouldn't I be dead? I just mean like they're taking a while to make their play here. Yeah, either I'm dead or they're dead. This is why every match of magic is a 50-50. Oops. Wait, is that a good oops or a bad oops? I don't know. How long does it take to kill someone? Unless it's like a very convoluted line where they're trying to figure out if they can like exile their own ring. It's nice that there's no demonic tutor in our format anymore because now it's just like, you know. Slicer. Oh, wait, why did this take so long? <laughs> hey, you just give your thing haste and kill me. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Chain Pact is still legal, yeah. Which cards are banned? Demonic Tutor, Natural Order, Field of the Dead, Minsk and Boo Timeless Heroes, uh, and Oko Thief of Crowns. Ooh. Jeweled Bird. I'll keep this hand. Though it doesn't cast this. But we have a gate. We have a halfling and a Elish Norn. That's not the love. Excuse me. Is that? That's it, right? DTNO. DTNO, four capital letters. Oh, yeah. Look at this life gain. Ooh. The halfling, so delighted. What is she holding? Is it like a little, is it a little doll? Did you killed my halfling? What is your problem? No! Oh wait, no, never mind. Ha ha. Ho ho ho. Um. You got a, a, a dragon doll. Oh, cute. My halfling. Okay. Jesus. I don't have a basic planes. Hmm. Circuitous route or a Baldur's Gate and a Boros Guild Gate. Play this. 
this, get some life, and then I'll pass. Jund is a match where I assumed it would be a little difficult just because they're it's all about disruptive tools, you know? Oh, wait, this is sick. I could just kill this Domri. Unless they have fatal push. Alright, never mind. We're killing Domri. Or I could play uh Elishnorn here. Elishnorn might be reasonable too. What? Elishorn into Risen Reef. I think I just want to kill Domri. Can I do... Oh, I can do both, right? Oh no, because this just breaks even. I could uh, Eureka moment. I think that does what I want. Yeah, you're not going to have anything. Am I just using my turn to kill a Stormry? I think that's what I'm doing. Do I need to... Is there a Gladiator Super Friends deck? Sure. Oh, I could have maybe found an island here. I think I'm more scared of this Domri than this uh, Sark involved. You tool? What do you mean, you tool? You've got 10 seconds to explain yourself or else you'll face the wrath of my gates. Griffin is on what, Jun Dragons? Reacting to Sibwow? So you're calling Sibwow a tool? Not in my house. Ooh. You do? Something is bugged with the Q? What do you mean? It keeps putting you down. Are more people joining? Or is it because subs have priority? If more people are joining, uh, I can do that. Yeah. Subs get Q priority. One of the many perks of subscribing to the channel. That's right. Subscribe. I don't even have a plug for this anymore. Holy shit. Oh, well. I think it's actually better if I Omnath. Oh yeah. Play that land, gain a bunch of life, make another thing. Mm -hmm. Mandy's with frog. Uh, 
Uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. I hope you're doing well. Cow Tools by <laughs> Gary Larson. I mean, I can just Ugin for two, right? Can I just kill you? <sighs> the temptation. Uh, they're tapped out. Four, five, six, seven. Then how much mana do I have? God, this is not adding as much mana as I want. Uh, all right, I'll just play you. Bye bye, Druid class. I loved you. Oh, bro. Titania's command? Should this deck play Titania's command? I declined to play it because it is just, I mean, it's a lot of mana. Maybe it's fine because it makes two blockers. Yeah, I guess it's it does make two blockers. I, I'll consider Titania's command. Mm. Old span dragon. Attacking my Ugin? Leaving my opponent dead on board? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can't even hear this, right? You can't hear the very loud noise from off screen that I'm emulating, imitating even. You hear the hum. <sighs> Yard work could be on your end. I mean, if it's if you hear it from my mic, then my mic settings are not that great. you hear is very low. Yeah, the gate's probably doing a good enough job. Not to pull people on blast, but we've had three people with frog in their name. <laughs> three, uh, this just looks like a bad land's hand. I think I'll keep it. Not to put any people on blast, but we've had pe three people with frog in their username. Either subscribe or follow the channel in the past 10 minutes. Is it because of the Gitrog monster? I mean, changing, I'm not going to change rat view, but if there was any other animal to just have on screen that I think chat would like, it would probably be a frog. My favorite lands deck in commander. Um, Mina and Den. I really liked Mina and Den. Mina and Den, what happened? <laughs> Speaking for the monkey council, we did bad. What do you mean representation? I'm here. I'm ook ook and I'm hooting and hollering. Uh, do I want a finale for two? Do I just want to... I think I want to do this. Look at all the gates I have in play. <laughs> Who is my favorite commander? Not necessarily for strength, but for fun. 
Um, hmm, good question. I, probably Masamaro. My big idiot son. Let's escape from the wilds. Holy shit, look at all these gates. <laughs> good joke, streamer. Capuchin advisory group. Uh, is this one one doing anything? Hmm. I'm sure I can come up with a spot where it does something, but uh, I feel like I'd be lying to you, chat. Have I gotten my custom art altar? I have, and uh, y'all will see it soon enough. Don't worry. You'll, you'll see it all right. Um, so I could get Primeval Titan here. Is there a way that I could put a whole bunch of lands into play. I mean, I could Rada into Eureka moment. Does primetime actually do what I want? I mean, primetime, I could play Nyssa. Hit you for 10. I could get the Uvenwald Hydra, which actually blocks, but they, like, I feel like they've got to have is Uvenwald just the best thing to get here? I think I'm getting Uvenwald Hydra. I shared it on Twitter, I thought. Next North 100 Showdown? Nope. You'll see it. You'll see it. I mean, I guess we're getting... I mean, I can get Plaza. No, do I even have two gates? I don't have any gates. Holy shit. Uh, I think I'm getting the red Tumbletown. Number one victory royale. Yeah, I showed it on stream. Bye-bye, Nissa. Goodbye, Nyssa. I will miss you. However, my opponent played a second dragon, and there's just simply nothing I can do about it. Yeah, this hand... I don't know if I wanted to keep this hand or not. I mean, I okay made it so much worse. I just, like, didn't really do anything. These two cards have been okay at helping us survive. I'm actually kind of impressed with them. I mean, this, this card seems so bad. Holy shit. Do I, gotta, do I get to block? Do I get to block? Oh, I get to block. Oh my God. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I think I'm not doing anything about this right now. I, I want to see what my opponent hits off this. I want to see them just cast a million cards. Uh, sure. Let's go Elvish Rejuvenator. That's good. That's good. That means they're not targeting me with it. <laughs> I, 
I only have... Do I... I have two gates now, right? All right, what do you got? <laughs> and this card's like... Nice $60 commander card. <laughs> That's very funny. All right, everybody, get in here. Psychrift overloaded. Woo! <laughs> What are you going to do? Cling to dust me? Holy shit. Wait, no, that's fine, right? Can I, I can just kill them with druid class. It really is a commander game. Uh, uh, <laughs> didn't realize you extend your content historic brawl. Oh my god. Yeah, I swear to god, Gladiator is not Commander. Not even close. Uh, please ignore everything that's happening here. <laughs> Target land. Okay. Um... Twelve, twelve. So they have to block this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Woo! They gotta block the twelve, twelve. They go to four. Oh shit! Oh, this sucks so stupid. This is why we included Bloodbraid Elf, you know? I could still die. Like, it's not. This this game's not over. <laughs> it's... Best thing you can do on Arena. <laughs> Slash Panther? What are you talking about? Look at all this value we accrued. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the deck's perfect. Here, let me update this deck list though, because we made a bunch of changes. <laughs> yeah, no notes. Truthfully, I don't think it uses... I mean, it uses a bunch of wild card... Like, the rare wild cards are for the lands cards, I guess. Uh, okay, I don't have them. Good. Do it again? We're three and one, aren't we? Four and one? Like, we've only dropped one match and it was close?
Oh, you want to see it again? Okay, I'll try. Uh, it's a combat wombat. Please fight me. See, this is why I don't feel... <laughs> I mean, look. Formats like Gladiator or formats like Canadian Highlander are not Commander. They're very far from Commander, but that doesn't mean you can't just have goofy, like, games like that. You know? Uh, Decaped, welcome back for the fourth month. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. May I say good to see you. Thank you for all the support. Uh, Combat Wombat, if you're there. Uh, nope, wrong one. Feel free to add me on Arena and fight me. I mean... All memeing aside, this deck does go over the top, right? Like we have we have acceleration, we have some repeatable card advantage engines, we have a couple yeah, we have some ways of clearing the board, uh, and we have some of the best top end cards of all time, you know, prime time Ugin Golos, that sort of thing. And like we have a way of killing our opponents that doesn't require us building to the board. It, well, it requires us building to the board, but through our mana base, you know. I would like to accept that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Titania's command. Yeah, I should. If I want to craft mazes and it would take 14 rares, nine mythics. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I guess uh, don't craft this unless you already like, uh, unless you already like the lands style decks. Uh, what am I cutting for this? This card is being kind of medium, although casting it on turn two or like turn three is pretty nice. Um, this card has failed me for the last time, Gadget. Oh, I don't have Aftermathness in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. What other L? I mean, it finds some good elementals too. Wait. Oh, I didn't craft Aftermath, Nessa. Shit. <laughs> I don't have a wild card for this. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, she does different things from Augur, back alley gardener. That's the Alliance one, right? Um, I didn't think it would, uh, two pip intensive is one of them, but I also didn't think it would trigger reliably. I don't know where to combat Wombat is. They haven't mentioned, uh, they haven't added me in chat and they haven't sent me a challenge. Um, so I'm going to, unless they say something right now, I'm going to move on to the next person and I'll try them, uh, after, uh, Broccoli Rob, who I did see. Beat me, please. Broccoli Rob, 60 card, best of three. Yeah, like back gardener Gardener is pretty good. The colors are a little awkward. And like repeatedly triggering it might be difficult, but the landscaper stopped. <laughs> oh, I have accepted. Oh, uh, hello. You know what I'm going to do? Select that. I'm going to do the professional. Uh, what was the tip? The like real, like real pros restart arena every two matches or something. What was that old meme? Now you just get to see uh, the background, the void.
sometimes arena forces you to restart the void is girl dinner <laughs> shrimp fried this when this, this uh, shrimp fried you're telling me a shrimp fried this wendy's drive through officer gay son versus girl dinner I want a cup of this shrimp's fried piss dinner. Girl dinner. <laughs> Just having a stroke on camera. Yeah. How come you shrimp fried in the cold and out of the girl dinner? Is this a Wendy's? <laughs> no. Slimefoot survey? Oh, we already cast this one. Oh, that each have a basic land type. Oh. Okay, I could jam that. If I had more than one gate, I was considering keeping this. Okay, this is going well. Oh shit, I played the wrong land. Ha! Fuck, I thought this was a different land. And as I was dragging it, I was like, oh no. It's okay, I'm just, uh, yeah, just trying to untap land. Wow. Kind of screwed ourselves, huh? That's fine, this was a multi five. This doesn't count. They're going to ninja me, too? Oh. Death Toucher? I can't beat that. I already bought a five. I can't beat this virus beetle gameplay. It's too powerful. Uh, all right. Let's lose this. I mean, I guess this still would have happened either way. We've played the Wall Blossoms. They, they uh... They, uh, block the other one. I think I've lost this. Didn't put an Into the North in your deck? I forget. At least you didn't put Into the North in your deck. I forgot to switch to Snow Basics. That's embarrassing. Holy shit. Are they, are they every Relentless Rat dot deck? Oh no. If they're on like relentless rats dot deck, this is not going to go well. Okay, opponent, live your best life. Well, hold on. You don't have to root for them. You like the big rotating rat in the corner, it makes you happy. I'm glad of it. That's rat you. Hold on. Is this an important message? Nope. It's not. <laughs> copy, I am I getting, this isn't copy rat infringement because they don't have any uh, clones. Unless they're missing the color. All right, so the way that we survive is by casting this Golos, not losing this Golos. Okay, all right, we're doing it. Wait, no, we're not. We're missing colors. Oh, I get the World Tree. All right, the way that we do this is that we get the world tree and Golos doesn't die. Golos doesn't die? Don't... Okay, all right. Did we learn how it goes it? Well, we we lost game one here. Uh, so far, this Maze Zen deck is actually doing quite well. We're X and 1. I think we're 4 and 1. 
Isn't Heartless Act a bad card? I mean, it's not my favorite. Oh, yeah, I keep this. I keep this every time. This should be an elemental. I think this I think the Dried of the Elysian Grove should have been an elemental. I think I value this as a blocker. Like I think whatever I play is dying. But if I risen reef, I at least get to replace a card. Replace it with a card in my hand. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, make this one an elemental. It even looks like an elemental. Crucius, oh how the mighty have fallen. I mean the card's still fine. Oh, I should have attacked first. Well, it saves me some clicks. Ba bad elemental takes? How? Look at this. Nymph? You couldn't make this an elemental dryad? I like that some carry added is just a plant. An industry plant. Legion carry added works for the bourgeoisie. <laughs> what? What? Oh, this guy, this is kind of hot. I think I like this better than Titania's Command. I mean, we could potentially do both. Oh, yeah. Uh, two lands and two bears? Bear, bear, bear. I mean, I could buff everybody, but I think I just want to go wide. You heard them? No, just because one person says some fucking out there statement doesn't make it fact. The burden of proof is not on me. Uh, have I been on the internet? I mean, yeah, I guess I've seen Twitter. In favor of fixing your sleep sleep schedule. Uh, how does one drop? Uh, my uh, uh, leave. Exclamation mark leave. I'll trade Cruz just for Risen Reef at this point. But I also want to guarantee get this off the table. Because I think one of the ways that we lose is if they Wrath and then start ticking this up. I mean, we can discard the land and we can uh, Ugin, but... There's a chance I should have held that land too because they have Relentless Rats now that I'm thinking about it. Hold on. Why did I play that land? Oh, they got Crucius back. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm glad I played the way I did. I was expecting them to blow in the snow and get back Liliana. I guess they didn't have enough snow lands. Yeah, we can Ugin, and then I can crack this fiery is lit. And we can be up a couple of cards. I mean, Black Red is pretty good at getting rid of Planeswalkers. Yeah, that's fine.
their music command. It's just like a generic no. Tuesday morning jazz, sweet July jazz, and bossa nova music for good mood. Copyright royalty free. You got bow masters? No. No masters. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, actually, I should use this first. Who doesn't love some sweet, sweet Tuesday morning jazz, sweet July jazz, jazz and bossa nova music jazz? For good mood. Me, when I'm looking for something for good mood, I always go with sweet jazz. Sweet, sweet jazz. Um, let's get Baldur's Gate. Let's play this, and now we can tumble down. Number one victory royale. Yeah, Maze's End doesn't actually put them into play tapped. But all the gates came into play tapped at this time, so it's pretty good with Baldur's Gate. Ooh, bank job? Naruto-themed Naruto -themed bank job? Oh, shit. Uh, actually, I shouldn't do this now, right? Gates should have their own special frame. Yes. I mean, it's hard enough telling how many gates I have normally. Uh, how many gates do I have? Not that many. One, two, three... Four, five. I only have five gates. Mm. This is going to find me the green gate. I think I want to tumble down before I maze his end. Or maybe I should just maze his end, given what my opponent's doing. Yeah, I should just prioritize this maze his end. This is the nice part of this. Like, again, I'm not trying to kill people with creatures or anything. And so being able to just, against a Rakdos deck. Like, do I have the mana for this too? I do. Uh, being able to just do all this without actually uh, playing out cards like creatures feels great. Uh, let's get a gate into play. I'll play a wall of blossoms. Play the lighted halfling. And then I'm just gonna activate this gate again and then activate my maze's end. And we can even channel this to make two forests, but I think I wanna keep this in hand. Oh, maybe I should have activated mazes. Oops, I missed a gate, right? Cause I could have activated maze's end and then just played this. Yeah, now we can start ramping. It's this tight gate-based gameplay that I need to really hone in on in order to, you know, <laughs> to take advantage of what this format has to offer. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, let's start off with a. Uh, let's start off with the explore. Cure is decent here. Multiple activations with mazes end. Ooh, I don't know. That seems a little. I feel like that is a little unlikely. You know, a bit niche. Oh, guild summit. Holy shit. Uh, okay, stay calm. Stay calm. Don't try to tap my gates. I should have been a little heads up with tapping the mana, but. Boom. Uh, tapping one, two, three, four gates. Didn't draw another gate. No. Do I have any like graveyard? No. All this mazes end. Get another tumble gate, and then let's draw a card. We can play this, or we can play this, and put the mazes end back into play. I said Sphinx's rep was bad. I mean, you'd never hear that on this channel. Like, how much of their hand is just removal? Right? Like just spot removal. I'd wager probably quite a bit. Or just discard. You know? I mean, now we have cards in hand. We have a Mooly Dooly that can get killed, but. Yeah, we gotta hit the scroll bar. So let's do a gate check. Uh, this is gonna make it even more hard because it, or it ends at Orzov gate. Okay, so we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine. So we're, this maze's end is going to kill. But just in case. Also, I can activate some of these tumble gates. I don't know what uh, the D and D gates. Whoosh, we got the maze zen kill. Hey, all right. I mean, we got it earlier today, but it's good to get it again. What's the Vorthos on why Delighted Halfling doesn't make a spell counterable? Do you want to say no to this? Are you going to be the person that says no to this child that is experiencing so much joy? No. Not happening. Mm. Get rid of the frog crowd hates it. That's a reasonable draw. It's not a child. It's a fully grown hobbit. No, this one's a child. Dark ritual? Uh-oh. Yeah, the other adult is just a hobbit getting smashed. It's great. <laughs> He's just so happy having a brew. Partying. Oh, well. If they fatal push my halfling, then it's extra bad. I will block here. 
They might have a spike field hazard. But I'll block here. Why do you want a hot a hot brownie and ice cream? It's cold. I mean, I guess that's what the hot brownie's for. Yes, and the hot fudge, honey. Okay. Um I think I'm just doing this to try and hit my land drops. <laughs> um, all right, we're not doing so hot. We are not finding lands in our 46 land deck. I think we're 46 now. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, we're on 46. Oh, my halfling. Uh, although, if we draw... Like, we have stuff to pitch here. Like, what's my best draw? Like, an overgrown field or something? Wins Basil. What's a land count recommendation for mid range control and average combo? I would say start at 38 for mid range. 37 plus two double face modal cards, or like 38 plus two double face modal cards, or one. Uh, Prosper's pretty bad too. No, we were doing so well. Oh, shit. Okay, Cruelty of Gix, pretty bad. Gotta get rid of this Prosper. Crucius has kind of fallen off. Sliliana's not that threatening. But this Cruelty of Gix is, is real bad for us. Especially because I had to play my Besaju. Personally, I think lands are overrated. Cut them. Cut your lands. Fewer lands means more spells. Don't you want to cast spells? Spells are cool. Lands are just lands. This makes good copy pasta. Unless you're being sincere lullaby, lullaby for mice. And then uh, my condolences. Um, yeah, but with lands, you can cast your spells. Spells are only cool if you can cast them. You want to cast your spells, don't you? And some lands are spells. Discarding a graveyard trespasser. Okay. Schmied hook. Ooh, conduit is such a good draw here. Uh, this one I can't use the turn I play it, right? Yeah. So I'm going to Swords this Prosper. I'm going to keep Liliana nice and healthy. I guess I could have attacked with the other one too because those Meat Hook Maskers looming in the background, but I could also just Conduit the Meat Hook Masker. Or I could Conduit my Green Warden just to get the uh, extra ability. I think I'm Conduiting this... Oh, I can't Casket Rock with my lands. Mm. <laughs> Con 
conduit my uh, my delighted halfling. Drain the Crucius. I think because they're going to have to Schmied Hook Masker here. If they're Schmeeding, then I can uh, just conduit my Scoot Swarm. Yeah. But they're up a lot of cards now. This is a good engine to have. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I gotta... I mean, going Hellbent is something that we can do pretty easily. That's a reasonable one to hit. Give me the scoots. Give me the scoots. They can get the Green Warden or they can get my Gitrog monster. I think I'm okay if they get that. We have the Scoot Swarm. Like they might get Gaunty here. Gaunty or Trespasser, I think, is the the pick. Yeah, the the timing and the restrictions with like we need to get the landfall thing in play before we play our land, and then playing the land gets us to draw a card and that makes it a little bit messy here. Um, but I think I want to get this Scoot Swarm going because this is how we can take over the board. We're not exactly lacking cards. You know, like we have, we can conduit the Gitrog next turn. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. The turn the Tegrid hits the table and we have scape shift. What do you mean do it? It just kills me. I want to try to win this game. Although, I don't know how I do that. Am I winning? Yeah, I think I have a real shot at winning this game. Yeah, Tegrid is a very funny card. I mean, I guess when I saw the Waste Knot, I should have assumed Tegrid was going to hit the... Tegrid was in this deck because they were doing discard stuff above everything else. Oh, Pachuca Ball, fuck. Tigris is not bad in commander. Tiger plus Lily all. Oh, I should have attacked with everything. Because they can just block with this and then old Tagrid. Oh, they're just letting it through. Weird. Okay. Works for me. <laughs> Maybe they're a little worried of like they block and then I just like get rid of the Liliana the other way. Maybe that's why. Maybe the fact that I didn't attack with the Scoot Swarms is like the mind games. Of, I didn't attack with Scoot Swarm, which means that I likely have a way to deal with the Liliana. Uh, am I doing this pre-combat? I guess I... Eh. Yeah, it could just be a case of overthinking it or playing too cautiously instead of like making me have it. I don't know. Like I can understand, I can understand the reasoning as to why they're like, well, if I block, if they're not, why are they not attacking with these? Because I just chump block with this to get rid of that. So they have a way to deal with this Liliana. Like I think, like I can try to, uh, I can 
sculpt a world where that is the line of thinking of my opponent, you know? Oh yeah, this is gonna crash arena. <laughs> What do you mean good game? No, wait, 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 we have so much more to play. Oh, well. Actually, I can't do this because of Schmied Hook. I don't want to bounce their Meat Hook Massacre. Let's get Tegrid out of here. I'm okay losing this 5 7. But I can just cast it, right? If they play like an each player discards card, I'm gonna just like cast a Psych Rift Bouncing Waste Knot. No, this only lets you play permanents from your graveyard. Bounce Guild Summit, Cyclonic Rift is only things your opponents control so that it works with the overload. I would love to bounce Guild Summit, draw a bunch of cards. Oh, Bob Nixilis. Uh, okay, so you are going to make a copy, and then I'm going to immediately bounce this, Bob. Before you get priority, because there's stuff still on the stack. Is Overload the one that's unbelievably clunky in other languages? Oh, is it? That wasn't even like an is it joke. I mean, I guess I could see that. Mm. We're just going to keep zeroing this card. Uh, another one if you will we we could still die to them playing like a wrath effect right like they could the second that they have like anything to just kill my board well, that's a guild gate They're dead on board? No. <laughs> oh my god, Arena. Arena is <laughs> Arena is really struggling. Oh. Is there like a certain amount that I can make? Oh my god, Alish Norn. <laughs> Does it just stop? It just stops at a certain point? Okay. Flying a land. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. It is really struggling. Oh, yeah. 326 drinkers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry if my opponent's playing on their phone. <laughs> Is it just... I mean, it might stop. Like, it won't make them. God, please draw, like, a spiteful banditry or, like, uh, a Rakdos charm. Oh, 
Why are they jumping between piles? <laughs> Do we break a reading yet? I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> they keep. They keep. Oh, yeah, they didn't give us Rakdos charm. Oh, I see. There we go. We have a nice, nice little pile. Yeah, we gotta wait, though. We got 150 of these triggers. <laughs> Uh, uh, so how is everybody doing today? You having a good time? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I have another land drop to make. <laughs> I just what? I forgot that I had another land drop to make. It's you know, I lose track because he got so many of these abilities, right? <laughs> oh my god. I saw the I saw the blind eternities for a split second there. Alright, let's see, let's see. How much do we get here? 504, huh? <laughs> I lost around a hundred scoots that turn. I mean, I'm losing 502 scoots right now. I think, oh, yeah, I think overall, uh, we, Arena owes me about 700 scoot swarms. God, I hope I die. It would be so fucking funny if they just rip the, like, the spiteful banditry. Do we draw a card? We draw two cards. Oh, well, let me just make sure. Let me count it again. Let me count it again. Don't worry, chat. Thankfully, oh. Oh. Oh, I think we did it. Oh, no, there we go. It's back. It's <laughs> it just needed a second. <laughs> it's just moving them one from one pile to another. Somebody clip this. I don't ask for people to make clips of things ever, but somebody clip this. Please. <laughs> At least clip this last stack of triggers. <laughs> We're still going. Thank God we have this relaxing Tuesday jazz, comfy mood, jazz, uh, jelly, what? It? Jelly, jazz. All right, everybody's going to attack you. How do I feel about the one ring and its power in the format? Try to make a deck where you tap and untap. Oh, we did have exactly. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to BM. I thought we I thought we were one short. Oh, they just they just uh they, they just didn't block. I see. I see, they, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Well, hold on. It's like my phone's going off. Hello? Blake, buddy, how's it going? Uh, oh. I mean, I was, I was just getting around. We were just, it was just, it's, you know, Gladiator, it's a casual fo- Mm-hmm. No, 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 we like, I, we still like doing the PPRs, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> and Blake said I had to. Yeah, I heard Blake actually lost power during uh, the daily MTG. Uh, all of Seattle lost power or something. Uh, GG's, or I guess uh, rented. Uh, GG's Broccoli Rob WP's. Thanks for playing against your terrible waste. Not deck. It looked great. It genuinely looked sick. 
Thank you for indulging me on my scooting. Uh, to combat Wombat, please fight me. That was so funny. Holy. Actually, yeah, let me reboot Arena. <laughs> that's a that's a good call. That's a good call. Arena does owe me 700 tokens. I'll take them whenever. What's the record with gates? I think we're X, uh, we're six and two now. Are we X and two? Are there five and two or six and two? Are we X and one still? We lost the HD at the top of the show. Did we, who? Do we, do we lose anything else? Or is my brain assuming that I, my brain was like, <laughs> we lost that match. Also, remember who, who told me to concede? People said concede, I'm not winning that game. Come on. Not gonna believe in the kid. Uh, all right, Patton Moore, please fight me. Uh, if the combat wombat comes back around, I'll uh, give him a shot. Told you to scape shift into tag rig. Yeah, not happening. If there were, if I didn't believe that I had the ability to win that game, like if I genuinely thought I was losing and just like completely locked up, I I would have scape shifted to Tigrid. Oh, ah, uh, that's gotta be a mel from me. I mean, I'm gonna keep this. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I think with this deck, you have to keep some really bad hands. It's just like we have a lot of threes. We have a lot of lands. I just want to hit land drops or a three drop. Either one. Casting spells before turn four is overrated. Exactly. Look, my opponent played a tap land. <clears throat> Look, we're fine. I even have a thing I can play. I can even tempo Cyclonic Rift. Never had a bat. AMC, you're a little too salty. <laughs> I could tell, I could tell you're a little salty over a match because you've brought it up several, <laughs> several times. You just gotta, just gotta let it, let it ride. Oh my God. Demolition field. How do I beat that card? <laughs> Rifted the Uro. Need the salty run back to rub it in. I don't know if you want the smoke. What are they doing? Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I guess I have two cards that could hit. Neither of these cards were in my opening hand. Wow, they're so close to this Uro now. Are they just Sultai? Like Sultai Midranger Control? I'm just going to play this and make a tree folk. Yeah, I just don't have the aftermath. Uh, I don't have the aftermathness and I don't have the wild card. I think it would be okay. I don't think it'd be as good as uh, Lotus Cobra or Tireless Provisioner, but it'd probably be fine. No. Mm, I'm gonna get a mountain. My boulders gate. I mean, I guess I can get it back with this card. Can't I? I have to bolt it. Come on. What? Only one card? Oh, I have to take a ping. I want to do this the right way.
Yeah, that there's a hollow hinge wrangler. Ooh. Uh. Attack you for seven. I think I'm okay with this. Doesn't mean I can grow spiral. Maybe I should have grow spiral in response, but I kind of want to. Kind of want to just uh, swords the Uro. Wranglers and elemental. Well, the elemental wrangles the beast. Swords. Hey, look, it's another elemental. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eugene? <laughs> Soul of the Harvest? That's, I mean, that's a six drop elemental. That card's an elemental, yeah. Get back, Bowmasters. Okay. Uh, Kinder, Kinder Catch is an elemental on... There's a couple of an elementals on, on Innistrad, right? Vorst Claw, Kinder Catch. Uh, the, the Five One. Also, let it be known that I kept a hand that didn't do anything until turn four. <laughs> let it be known that I'm a sack. This one has grow spiral. Yeah, Malignus is an elemental. I also, uh, that's also what Steve Jobs died of. <laughs> Sorry, Jobs. <laughs> Soren Jobs? Are you fucking kidding me? So Soren Jobs? I mean, they both start with S, but you know. Oh, that's a good, that's a good Liliana. Yeah, I might just die to this. This card's just gonna alt before I do anything. Oh, never mind. Is this a uh, Tasha? Oh yeah. <sighs> so good at this game. <laughs> Damn, that's a big boy. Um, ooh, do I actually want to get? I mean, I can get Maze's End here. Uh, I think I want. Maze's End and. Plaza? Yeah, I think I want Maze's End and Plaza. I can get Maze's End because uh, Ancient Greed Warden, if they demolition field it, Ancient Greed Warden could just replay it. But it kind of pushes them to do it now or else I can keep it safe. 
Have I thought about playing Donkey Kong Country on Play It Forward? I do like uh, Donkey Kong Country. No, my my next Play It Forward is going to be... Um, uh, what is it called again? Uh, Lord of the Fallen? Lords of the Fallen, the like reboot of that series? Ultima Online. Boy, Pop's not dead. How are you doing? Not Liza P. Oh, it might be Liza P. It's one of the two. They have another kill spell it's a little oh i mean we could just get this get myself a gate <clears throat> they could just kill this ancient green warden yeah they're doing the tempo-y thing One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm, yeah, I'll just draw here. I'm going to preserve my life total a bit. By not tapping. Oh, I should tap some green mana I mean maybe I can crack one here um, I can take one Sacrifice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands. One. Two. Three, four, five. Six. I think I want to get Hall as seven. Could get Lair of the Hydra. Six. They're a little tight on mana, but I think, yeah, I think I'm getting Hall. There's no Valakut on Arena. There's no Ameria on Arena. <clears throat> oh! Well. Oh, they have a Cling of Dust? Or Cling to Dust? Shit. We do have a lot of mana, though. Tamio. Oh, that's not good for me. Oh, wait. Are you going to get an Ancient Green Warden or a Primeval Titan? <laughs> uh, Alright, you get a Green Warden. Oh, no. Uh, I could have Maze's End, but it's uh, it's in my graveyard. Oh my god, we're so dead. Because I can tap up to this. If I can find... Well, Hall can block, actually. Hold on. Hall blocks that. Uh, 
I don't think I have enough. I can plaza. Oh, I can dryad plus plaza. play Maze's End. Then we play... Do I need to... Can I Elishnorn here? If I Elishnorn two plazas... One, two... No, I think one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I just play Plaza. And then I, fingers crossed, that they don't, don't draw the thing. Because double Plaza puts me to ten. And then they can tap that, Elishnorn that. By Elishnorn before I plaza. I mean, Elishnorn also stops ETBs from killing me. Does Elishnorn? No, Elishnorn Plaza doesn't actually stop if they have a kill spell, right? Because if I have, uh, oh, they can demo field my mazes end, which makes that a little tricky. It prices them into doing that. They could also demo, demo field this. But if they demo field that, so I think I have to Elish Norn here. Which is not great. Not where I want it to be. Oh. <sighs> I mean, I guess we can crack these two. Ooh, that's another blocker. <clears throat> okay, okay. They have to get rid of the mazes end at sorcery speed. Um, because this is just on, it doesn't matter where this card is. Mm. I think I just do this. And then I give you this. So they have to demo field my maze's end. I think like the best card we could draw would be like Gates of Blaze. I'm getting my own green warden is pretty bad. Although I think it's better for me to have given them this than to prime time. That's a great draw. That is a great draw. That's also a good draw. Wow. <laughs> Who needs... <laughs> Who needs mazes and? Um. I think I Ugin for six here. I can Ugin for two, actually. Well, the demo field is a bit of a pisser. 
But I think uh, I think I Ugin for two, don't I? Well, I want to use this mana before attacking. Also, if I Ugin for two, this doesn't go away. Like, they can just keep this Green Warden. Is that okay? Am I okay with this? Mm, I don't think they have anything. So I'm just going to see if we can draw well. So maybe I should actually... No, I think I Ugin for everything here. Yeah, I just clear the board, and I have an Ugin. Can I get a big tree folk? Uh, I don't actually want an Hour of Promise. I just want to draw a bunch of cards. Here's a 16-16. Now it's a 15-15. Now it's a 16-16. Are you sea salty or kosher salty? Um... I'd say kosher. I, I'd say you're at a level of saltiness that is still kosher. Large green salty. Oh. Haymaker on Haymaker. Ooh. GG's WPs. I'm in a board stall limited game. Shaking my head. Shaking my head. Shaking my head. Uh, Logan, fight me, please. <laughs> Is that, yeah, deck's too good. X do good. Phantom bot draft of what set? Oh. Wait, but it's free. I mean, you don't really get anything though. Do these wild card rewards prioritize you getting cards you don't own? Or is it just completely random? Logan, what's your name on here again? Is it Pard Pardock? I think it was Pardock. Would Logan Armitage please make uh, your way towards the fighting me zone? Fight me, please. Please! Folks, we have a system here. Uh, I mean, I can fight Momagart. Momagart, fight me. Momagart, please fight me. Please fight me. You can accommodate? God bless. I need more <laughs> victims. Or to get ranched myself, whatever works. Stack is doing better than I thought, though I will say that. Ooh, I'll keep. Oh, we have the Crucible Fabled Passage? Hello. That's kind of hot. Uh oh. 
uh, two drop like zoink scoob Black market connections. Gain three life. Ha 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 ha. Um. Okay. Well. Sure, I'll play Augur of Autumn. Oh, that's a good hit. Okay. That's a good card coming up. It doesn't prioritize you, your rares you don't already have. One of my rewards was gems because it tried to give me a rare from a set I fully collected. Oh, Jesus, okay. You know, it would be, that's a quality of life upgrade I would like to see, is that them, is if they gave you a wild, like a rare wild card, or the, not a rare wild card, I mean, that would be nice, but if they gave you a, a random rare and it prioritized ones you don't own, because there's so much, there's so many trash rares that you're already just like potentially getting schmucked, right? That it's just kind of a, a nice little thing for people getting, people building like, I guess a historic brawl collection. Ooh. Give me as much mana as possible. I don't have a basic planes for this card. I would like to draw an untapped white sword or a gladiator. Yeah, sure. I'm. I don't know how many decisions are made <laughs> based off of uh, gladiator. Very few. I mean, I do know, but I'm not going to tell you. Um, but like historic brawl, very popular format. You know, sure. Throw some trash. Uh, <laughs> throw some trash our way. They're at nine. Wow. I mean, they're drawing a bunch of cards and making a bunch of treasure. Untap White Source would be so clutch. Yeah, I would like to dust. I would like a dusting. Uh, swing and a miss. I mean, you get to kill my thing, but other than that. Ooh. Uh, I feel like it, people people at Watsi care about Historic Brawl. It's a very popular format. Um, I think there may be a case where, like, the format's very popular. It's people like playing it. Uh, and they just leave it alone, which maybe there are some cards that uh, cause uh, some frustration within the uh, player base if they don't want to play Golos for five color soup over and over again. All right, let's try to crash arena once again. They can start, uh, the shadow spear makes blocking a little awkward um, here and they can start getting their life back. Shadow spear on misery shadow is brutal. Ban list. Also, it's for, for a lot of arena stuff. It's like not an issue, not so much an issue of like the team doesn't care or whatever. It's just like how much money does the arena team get? How much how many resources does the arena team actually have? You know? Unfortunately, not as much as they should get. That's a good draw. Uh do I like that more than Green Warden? I mean, I could do this plus binding the old gods. I mean, I'm going to bind. We're, we're casting this binding. Either way. Um, Actually, I'm getting rid of Shadow Spear. You can keep this Misery Shadow. Shadow Spear is the one that is scariest. Uh, 
I might just die to a meat hook massacre here, but then at least it'll be funny, right? We're scooting again. I'm scooting. I don't have extra line drums, right? Yeah. Why'd they make this card in a post arena world? Because again, arena, arena, arena isn't necessarily at the top of their priorities for designing certain things. And also this card was designed in 20, like 2018 or 2017, potentially even earlier, you know? Like this could be, this This very much reads to me like a card where it's like they've wanted to make this kind of card for a while. I'm gonna block like this. My poor, poor cat, poor mom. He's being drinking, which is good. Uh, no. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, a lot of people playing blood on the snow. This card's a mandatory, right? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can finale for prime time. Should I have just Scoot swarmed? Hold on, I, I got ahead of myself. No, I wouldn't be able to. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I, I just immediately was like, huh, prime time. Um, but I think maybe I should have scoot swarmed here. Uh, I'm going to find a copy of Hall of the Storm Giant and a copy of Plaza of Harmony. Mm. Play my tap lands first. It's the Call of the Jungle. Yeah, I can't help it. Trample's kind of appealing against this board too. Might be. Oh, they're losing more life. So I can pressure with this Hall of the Storm Giant next turn? I mean, they can play this Murderous Rider. Yeah, Trample and Death Touch would have been sick. Oh? Wait, what? Do they have another land? Neither of these can block. Are they going to. They're planning on block. Oh my god. Oh no. They have AirPods in. They don't know what's happening. Mama Gart, no, <laughs> your AirPods. You had AirPods in. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't think we're losing that game for what it's worth. I think I think we're winning this game. But uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, this fucking deck. Uh, I think I got a mulligan in this hand, but it's very funny. I mean, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. We have swords. We have blue and green, which is pretty important. Oh yeah, and we got an explorer. I keep it. I think I keep this hand.
Do I explore here? No, I swords here. What a curve. What is my favorite MTG set rarity icon logo thing? What? Like, what is my favorite set logo? Oh, Ur was a hell of a draw. The set symbol? I mean, is it that good? I mean, I'm gonna cast it either way. I need to, I need to gain life. Um. Favorite set symbol. I really like Morning Tide. I didn't play during Morning Tide, but I really liked Morning Tide. Journey into Nyx? Oh yeah, the, the, I see. Yeah, Alliances is good. I like Ice Age too. I can you. You may activate this ability also while it's in your graveyard. Holy, and at instant speed. Mirage is a good one. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Let me do. Let me let me take a gander. I mean, I love Champions of Kamigawa. Um. Obviously. <laughs> But I, I think Champions of Kamigawa looks pretty good too. The Tori Gate. The Dark. I really like the set symbol for the Dark. Um. New Phyrexia looks good. Do they not have a kill spell? I mean, they might have a might still have a kill spell. I'm going to block here. Yeah. I don't really want to kill this right away. The ring tempting is pretty scary. A menace creature on two. Like this card, as soon as this card hit the table, I was like, I'm gonna die to this. Uh, unless we get like a gates ablaze or something. <sighs> no. Not exactly what I wanna have. I stand by this hand though. I think this hand was good. There, I said it. On the play, I guess maybe it was a little better on the play. My mana was a little shaky, although we just needed a green source for this card, or a black source, excuse me. We're dead in a variety of ways. Okay, that uh, works for me. If we survive here, we have the out of hour of devastation. Oh my God, they're attacking. No, my hollow hinge. And that's kind of funny. They can just keep putting back cards into my deck. No swamp? Yeah, I don't have a basic swamp. <laughs> why? Why? You think I should play a basic swamp here? Wait, no. Why'd you tap the red? Uh, all right. I don't need a basic swamp. I don't need a basic swamp. 
I only have basic uh, island, mountain, and forest. Did I do a tier list of all the cards in a set? Like tiering champions of Kamigawa? Uh, that's a lot of cards to tier list. I did an entire video on cha like or several multi-day stream. I did a multi-day stream on champions of Kamigawa. You want more? For 200 bucks. Yeah, sure, why not? $200, I'll do it. $200, I'll do a tier list of every... <laughs> of every card in uh, Champions of Kamigawa. Hmm. I think I want to hold it. Joint exploration is going to be nice. You can also listen to Shima Wheel of Magic. Yeah, we, we basically did. Let me guess, are they going to play another 3-1? That's all this deck is. Is mo I mean, they might be a more aggressive version. I don't know if they're playing Mono Black Midrange or Mono Black. Uh, Schmied Hook for zero? Is it just in case I Scoot Mob? Or Scoot Swarm? Untap land. Lesh Norn. Oh yeah, we gotta record a new bumper. I mean for this one, this we can do this off mic, but for the next one, I think we could just do it. Uh we don't need the bumper? Like, I think the the first one we can just do off the off the dome. Uh I'll I'll exp I'll, I'll talk to you about this. <laughs> I'll talk to you about this on uh tomorrow. Or Thursday? I forget when we're doing this. I've got I've got an idea. Okay, well, if their hand... If their hand has more kill spells... This is pretty bad for us. Yeah, they'll like resolve a two drop and then just turn everything sideways every turn. Uh, is pretty bad. Yeah, I got a plaza here. Eggs, eggs, Aeolian, eggs, welcome back for the sixteenth month. How you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for all the support. Glad to have you in May. I say good to see you. This card's also kind of a pisser in this matchup because it always just costs two mana. Yeah, the like play a threat and then just kill your blockers kind of game plan is pretty strong against us. Ooh. Let's see what we got going on. That's not bad, although it doesn't beat out that. What are you doing? Like, it doesn't deal with the, the menace creature here. I'm gonna play this because we might be able to gain some life. Yeah, they just have, like, two more kill spells in their hand, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Now they have two kill spells in their hand. Sixteen months is a long time. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the support. Without all of your help, I wouldn't be able to be here right now. Losing to some pretty miserable creatures. I mean, I I played Zeus's many journeys here. Like it's you know, 
I am not innocent. Psychonic Rift should be able to return lands. Thank you. About to catch the VOD for this. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, they have four cards in hand. How do I not? I should add Demolition Field to this deck. This deck should play a Demolition Field. I had it and I cut it because I was worried about the colored mana in this deck. Uh, and I am still worried about the colored mana in this deck. But you know, it's my wife. More menace creatures, huh? Well, it's awkward about casting the Cyclonic Rift because they have the Schmied Hook Massacre here. Um... Oh, don't. See what you're trying to do? Stop that. Maze's this end is land recurring nightmare. Yeah, I'd, I'd buy it. Um, we have red, red. We got a lot of red. I, I could get a tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. <clears throat> with your favorite pickles what are your favorite pickles I, as a pickle connoisseur myself they didn't call me pickle kid back in the day for nothing no they called it me that because I had a shirt with a pickle on it and I was a child How do we ban uh, a word in chat? Just curious. Pickle juice popsicles. I've heard that as a thing. I thought that was a Southern thing. Making a big blocker. <laughs> yeah, no ban evasion. No ban evasion. Need to get some life gain quick. Why is blood in the snow in this list? I mean, I'll allow it. It is very confusing. Odawara is good. It bounces the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Um, how close to killing am I? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're a little ways away. Okay. 
seven, and this makes eight. No, Odawara is just artifact creature enchantment or planeswalker. So I can Odawara this and then go to one. Um, I think I just need to pass. And like not activate this maze's end. Well, maybe I should maze this end. No, I need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to save this activation as a kill, I think. Um, I Odawara this, and I just take three. If they had a kill spell, I was dead anyways. Um, but I can do this, and then if they try to kill... If they try to kill one of their own things, I can just bounce the Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, okay. I just take three here. Could I also just kill them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think I could just kill them. Because I get plus X plus X. I just activate Rada twice. <laughs> and I just kill them. I should have played it off the top. <laughs> oh, oh my god Woo! sheesh okay <laughs> oh man this is the funniest thing this is this is the most fun i've had playing a gladiator deck in a while oh my god i i didn't even like connect until i went like wait a minute Oh, I can just do this twice. Oh, GG's, WP's. <laughs> this is a banger. Okay, Pyro, please fight me. Uh, we're, we're still X and one broccoli, Rob. If you just stepped out, you're gonna have to watch that VOD. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna wanna watch that match. Oh, oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god I gotta get a water one sec oh Okay. I mean, I have to keep it. I have Rada. Actually, this hand's great. <laughs> I have to go back and watch what the fuck. <laughs> that was so wild. Oh, Christ. Oh. 
No, unbeatable. If I put the guild gate in, I can't Rada into a land off the top. If I put the root bent, but then, I mean, I think it's still fine. I think I put the root bent. Henge gate pathway? Uh, sure. Taps out a white mana. Then the flip side taps out a, a blue mana. Kind of want to draw a wall of blossoms here. Combos with my Elish Knight. And it's from call time, I guess. No, my Rada. I mean, this card is going to just... Presumably it ruins Iwo's Day. Hoping you would think it's green. I'll give you that. Uh, you know what, Frank the Great? I like your moxie. I like that. I like the, the little, like, eh. It's simple enough that I might overthink it, you know? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, Logan. Uh, I called for you and missed you. I'll get you after this game. A second Wall of Blossoms trigger? <gasps> Two Risen Reef triggers? I'm secretly a Blink deck. Oh. Well, not drawing lands in our deck is not great. Uh, I don't want to attack into potential Settle the Wreckage. So I won't. Dump the Wheeler Wall of Blossoms. Um, uh, it uh, draws a card on uh, when it dies. Uh, no! Oh, I still didn't hit a land, eh? I can Ren in seven and try to hit some lands, or I can Druid class into, I think Druid class into Green Warden is better. Uh, yeah, you can have a card. I feel like I invalidate a lot, or not I, uh, the, the Elish Norton invalidates a lot of what they got going on there. Mm, I can attack here. Easy peasy. Bifurcate? Uh, oh, that's the bad masks rare. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's, um... Hold on. Pretty sure that's the one where it's like three or four mana and you find a copy of a creature you own. It's got uh um it's got like Halpack Wolf style car uh style cards. It's got Halpack Wolf on the front. I mean, this seems kind of hot, right? Oh, I found my island. That was... I didn't think about it, but I... Finding the island kind of... 
kind of screws me over here a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to draw another. Ooh. Okay, boo crop. Slice and twain. Uh, two green, green instant. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Draw a card. Bloodlord of Vasgoth. Uh, three black, black. Uh, three black, black. Three, three. It's a flyer. It's a vampire. It has bloodthirst. Three and gives all your other vampires bloodthirst three or bloodthirst something. It's the it's from like M13. It's the bloodthirst one. Uh, Street Breaker Worm. Five mana. Oh. Street Breaker Worm. The five mana, is that the Crawl Worm or is that the six, six? I think Street Breaker Worm is a five mana, five, four. Or five mana, five, five? Five mana, five, five. It's a vanilla creature. No, it's a five mana. Why would it be a five mana, five, five? Hold on, let me, give me a second here. I gotta like game design my way through this. Uh, I don't hate Cyclonic Rift here. Oh, all right, I have to pay eight. Um, they don't get anything back from this, so I can just do this on their turn. Uh, it's... It's five mana. I know it's three red and a green. It's Rav uh, Guild Pact. Um, so why, what would its stat line be? Is it just Crawl Worm? I think it's just Crawl Worm. Three red and a green for a six, four. That's it. It's Crawl Worm. The whole shtick is that it's Crawl Worm. Final answer. The whole point of it is that because it's a gold card, it's Crawl Worm for one less mana. Yeah, it's Crawl Worm for one less mana. Okay, okay, okay. It's got great art, too. I've given them a couple of free cards off this card. I think it's a Hildebrand. I think it's one of the Hildebrands. Oh, it's a Greg Hildebrand. A what? There's Brazil, where? Ooh, I'd fuck up some Brazilian food. want to draw this card I can grow spiral into it put this into play uh, I get to I still have some land drops I can make I'm trying to see if I can Titanius command I can Titanius command and then Odawara the Jukai naturalist make bears I think I want to make bears or should I find I think I'm going to find lands and make and then buff the team uh, let's get the red gate 
this is it. Oh, right. You're damn right they do. Oh, I think I could have buffed Rada and then Hour of Devastation and killed. Ah, this kills anyways. You can kill here. Oh, <laughs> chat, chat saw the line. This fucking deck. Uh, I mean, I don't think this does anything. It has it has a provisioner? Double gate into this. This is like the worst gate. I'm gonna I'm gonna ball. That's what I'm talking about. Arena needs another arm again. Come on. You don't mean that, do you? How long are we planning on going today? Uh, I got another, probably another hour in me. Oh, Pyro Mold. A Johnny Vengeance. If they put AJV on Arena, I mean, we've been, a, there. there's a dedicated few, Griffin certainly uh, one of the most uh, vocal about this, uh, for getting AJV on Arena. And I think Arena is ready for Space of Johnny. You know, Arena is so ready for Space of Johnny. Vascular Drive. I do like how this deck is just lands with the worst mana base. What the fuck do you mean? This deck is great. See? You get to play Primeval Titan. Deck just lands with the worst mana base. We're, we're X and 1! Come on! Chat, you need more faith. We just Primeval Titan for Maze's End and is it Guildgate? I mean, I do think that this deck offers something uh, that the more standardized lands deck in the format. Uh, this, uh, this version of a lands deck has certain tools, cards, kill conditions that other land variants do not have that also let it push through certain matchups where a lands deck might just fall because they got pieces uh, blown. Still don't like the format? I mean, when you mull to five, that'll happen. Okay, have a good one. <laughs> See you in six months. Uh... All right, uh, Logan. I gotta fight Logan. I said I'd fight Logan. Fight me, please. I knew it was a P. Ooh. I don't think I'll ever be happy not sideboarding anymore. Yeah, I kind of wish I could sideboard. Uh, I mean, this hand, this hand's good. So I'm a little worried about it. I can institute sideboards. Well, it's not just me. There's other people involved in the process. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I like sideboard and singleton. Yeah, we could do special. Oh, motherfucker. You want to play like this, huh? Ah, the mirror of accelerate. Jesus Christ. One in a red instant target creature gains haste until one to turn draw a card. I knew what accelerate was. I just thought it was from judgment. I'm the only I I am the only person in chat here that has played Accelerate more than once. Unless there's someone here with a Zada deck. That I'll accept. Uh, it's either it's me and like two players that have a Zada deck and they've cast Accelerate. Or Feather. There's got to be better versions of that for Feather. Who is going to stop me from putting sidewards? Well, we would have to vote as a community process. And like, also, I like sideboards for Canlander. For current Gladiator, I don't know if I like sideboards. Um, but I'm getting there. I think the format needs to do a bit more growing before we uh, get to sideboards. Like, this format is still in its infancy. The card pool needs to expand outside of certain types of archetypes. Certain types of archetypes. Uh, certain styles of archetypes uh it's just it's also just like i know this word is scary to a lot of people uh it's a casual format right like ultimately even though it's like casual competitive but it's still a casual format and so like it's just nice to be able to pick up play a game and not have to and like you just have your 100 locked in you know, uh, do I want to do this? I don't think I want to get, I think I'm just going to activate one of these gates or join exploration. You drafted a lot of Odyssey block. My condolences. <laughs> you played accelerate and limited, but you didn't want to in Odyssey block. I'm sorry that you had to play Odyssey block draft. It's bad. The legacy streams. So I played legacy. It sucked. I don't, I don't like the format right now. I, uh, I got the, the, all the golden pass ticket. I played five leagues. Uh, I did pretty well, but I, uh, just was not super interested in the type of gameplay. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan this. Should have played more dredge. I don't think that was the issue. In the gates mirror, I'm keeping this. <laughs> it was the Orcish Bowmasters. I mean, I played decks with Bowmasters. I played the Mystic Forge ring deck. I played the uh, blue white kind of like miracle ish deck uh not blue white the it, it's just guy but it's blue white you know what i mean uh ooh, Vayner Land Arbor. um i played the death shadow deck with bow masters uh i played mono red prison and i played a uh death and taxes list show off it's so rude incredible bm <laughs> incredible bm <laughs> rockefeller over here afforded could afford nissa yeah i don't uh i don't know you want to play but don't have wild cards for his band Good, good rule. Good rule. <laughs> Honestly, they're, the cards that are most appealing for me in Legacy right now are also just not on Magic Online, right? Like, I want to play the Painter list that runs Scrapwork Mutt and Chaos Defiler, uh, but we don't have Chaos Defiler. And that honks. Uh, am I doing this? Guess I want to try and find an untapped land. 
excuse me. Baldur's Gate and Gate Tunnel. Yeah, they're just like a bunch of cards that aren't on Magic. It's also why I'm not super interested in playing Canadian Highlander on Moto right now. Uh, like, or why. It's just missing so many key cards from like top tier archetypes. Uh, and specifically archetypes I like playing. It's just, it's kind of awkward. And there's like no Comet, no Moloch, no... Like it changes your Green Sun Zenith pack packages which changes your like matchups and certain in very specific like it changes like a mid uh a, a green sun zenith finale devastation like mid-range deck changes your matchup against hoof pretty drastically um and against like uh seeker walk like it's you just lose these cards that are so like that have, have really changed how i go to say the word change over and over again they've just changed how uh the format is played and decks are built so if I play this, uh, other gates I control. One, two, this would be tapping for four. So four, five, six, seven. So it's not enough to uh, Ugin here, but I can play Provisioner, play a Guild Gate, uh, and then make a food token, and then try to survive until next turn. The Gaffron Moto. Uh, I don't actually know if the Commander deck. Yeah, I think they. Are. No, they are because the fourth Aerolingus. That card's fucked. <laughs> oh no, not the Mooly Dooly. <laughs> oh no. Big boy. I mean, Eugene's going to be able to clean up, which is nice. But I have to wrath. I have to lose my Eugene. Oh. Hello? Arena? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd like to play like Pipe Paper Legacy, but I think the cost of uh, Arena Crash is on you too. Did Arena Crash for everybody? Yeah, Ugin, fuck, <laughs> just crashes everything I'm gonna play Ugin and uh, minus a hundred and you can't do that it only has seven loyalty counters I don't care I didn't read the card no Ben no I gotta tell you, it took until now for me to hit a point where I don't like how new, I mean, this sounds cliche and I, maybe I'm maybe I'm a couple of years late. I don't like how older formats are so drastically impacted by new cards, right? Like I genuinely did not have that big of a deal with uh, a problem with this until recently. Like until like this last year. And I was just like, oh, well, this kind of honks. Do you have any creature lands? You don't. Uh, well, I'm going to get Maze's End. And I think Plaza of Heroes still. Uh, I can make enough blockers next turn. Surely, make enough blockers. 
what am I, what is my mana like? Yeah, they figured out how to make Eternal Formats rotate by printing absurd cards in Horizon sets and non-standard sets. Um, oh, damn. Okay. Oh, that's a Primal Command? Oh, should I think about playing Primal Command? I can Primal Command my Maze's End or my Baldur's Gate. What cards made my cha changed my mind about it? Uh, initiative cards. <laughs> initiative cards. Um, uh, Infinity cards. Warhammer cards. Uh, the Horizons. Horizons cards, actually, I don't mind. Like, I don't... Maybe that's why. Because this was a talking point that popped up quite a bit when people were uh, playing... I do this. Sorry, one second. I got to think about my turn. Yeah, I mean, the Bow, Bowmasters, One Ring, those are the newest versions of that, but... I like Solitude and Friends. I like the Incarnations. I like Force of Wills. I, I think they're, for high-powered formats, it's it's addicting. It's fun, right? Um, do I have... Uh, yeah, you do the most damage, and I'm looking to basically just keep myself alive here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that, that's just, that's game, Hendrix. Maze's end, baby! <laughs> they were very impactful, but I think I'm okay. I mean, for mo I I'm talking about this for, like, Legacy, primarily. Legacy, Canlander, uh, Vintage, <laughs> Cube, that kind of stuff. Modern's whatever. I Every time I think about getting back into Modern, I, I look at Modern and go like, ah, I'm good. How dare you? I think about getting into modern and then I see what Lord of the Rings did to it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to spend money on that. I'm okay. Uh, Mud, back for the eighth month. How you doing? How you been? A number of months. Uh, glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for all the support. That is a number of months. <laughs> uh, GGWP. All right. Uh, Max, please fight me. Yeah, like Modern Horizons 2 cards. Again, I don't Modern Horizons 2 I is fine. I mean Ragavan is I'm not a fan of Ragavan, but um other than that, I'm actually okay with uh the elementals. Fury's a bit much, but you know. I'm okay with them. E yeah, what's up? Uh the sand doesn't do anything. So I think Remnab Excavator isn't actually that good. Uh, they're going first. I mean, I'll keep because we can blood braid off into something. Uh, I think Ragavan's actually not doing enough in this match. Oh, never mind. Let's go, Grazer. Bank Buster. Oh, what? Blue White. I mean, BBE is pretty good against uh, Blue White. Um, so I could track her here. I think because they have open mana, I'm going to go with Bloodbraid Elf because I get two cards here. That's fine. Oh. All right, let's go Light War Elf. 
Would Nissa replace Excavator? Do I have another card in mind? Um, maybe? Yeah, I kind of like Augur of Autumn more than Ramadap Excavator. Here's a tireless tracker. Twice X. Okay, if our opponent's on blue-white, I feel like our deck can actually tango with that. Uh, like, I feel that we are a deck that can actually fight. Maybe not with this hand. Ooh, you get this card. Maybe not with this hand. I could find Risen Reef. I don't think that does anything. I could find Rada. I could just put two. <laughs> I could just put two uh, worse into my hand. What am I doing? The commands are broke. Oh no, the list is. Exclamation mark deck. Same as it always has been. Actually, I don't know entirely how trade that is. <laughs> Same as it always has been, maybe, probably. Um, so we can I mean we can find Scoot Swarm. If we I should have thought about this before playing my land. Especially in this deck. Oh, I could find Uro. Nally for Uro is kind of funny. I think I'm actually just going to make two forests in my hand. <laughs> um, well. You can have a Dovin's Veto. Grist viable? Grist isn't on Arena, unfortunately. Oh, no. See, you're, you're playing this card wrong. You gotta cast, uh, you gotta cast yourself a seven mana spell right here. Let's kill off this Karn. Do I think Gris would be fair in Gladiator? I think it'd be extremely good, but it would probably be fine, you know? We have some pretty messed up cards in our format. I would love to play Gris. God, Neo forming into Grist. Mm. Mulder, you're Mulder, you're on you're on top of my uh, mouse here. When will Watsi put the entirety of Yogmoth <laughs> modern deck on Arena? It's mostly there, isn't it? I mean, not mostly. Obviously, you're missing Strangle Root Geist or whatever. But you have Yogmoth and you have Young, you get Young Wolf, right? Oh, that water. How does Grist work with Containment Priest and Graph Digger's Cage in play at the same time? Uh. What is the exact wording on Containment Priest? Hey, 
I assume they both bo for the for the sake of this, it's both the same. If a non-token creature, ex it's exile. Uh, it doesn't enter the battlefield as a creature, right? So neither are going to exile it. Yeah, it doesn't enter the battlefield as a creature. So uh, it doesn't do anything. One of them does and the other doesn't. What's Grafdigger's Cage say? I only looked up the Containment Priest. Players can't cast spells. Oh, creature cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Oh, because Priest says... Priest says replacement effect of if a creature would enter the battlefield. And this says a creature card and it's the car, it's, yeah. Yeah, the priest does nothing, but the cage stops it. That's my, that's my reading on this. Vendelian clique. Hopefully I can bait out a Dovin's veto by doing this. Uh, Brownie points. Welcome back for the 22nd ac uh, 22nd month. Bad Jersey accent. 22? Boy, that's gonna take a lot of Sunday gravy. Uh, thank you for the sport. Thank you for the gravy. They didn't take my bait. Um, Omen of the sea. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Yeah, my opponent's untapping with six cards in hand and they're at 24 life. And uh, I can't, I have nothing. Somebody, please take my bait. <laughs> God, I'm lonely. Hmm. Yeah. Really need to get this Dovin's Veto out of their hand. Hmm. Nissa, Steward of Elements. That's a pretty good draw. And they would have to animate the Cave of the Frost Dragon and crew up the Bank Buster to take out this Nissa. Does Force of Will existing in a card pool shut down archetypes anywhere nearly as hard as Fury Dumpster? Uh, no. No, Force of Will is, uh, uh... I mean, Force of Will is not an okay magic card, but, like... Especially nowadays. I mean, it's it's tough because like Force of Will is the kind of card where it's at its best now where it's actually just pushing through the fucked up cards that you would want to Force of Will, you know? Like, 
The thing about a for the thing about Force of Will is that it's a great answer to Minsk and Boo, but it's also a great way to make sure your Minsk and Boo gets in play. And that's not great. But I don't know. I'm just a I, I'm just a based gamer. I'm just a old country based gamer. Fuck all of my blue mana. Well, there is that deck. Uh, there is that deck that was technically called Dwarves. Um, that played Grist, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, then what? Kiefer has an idea for a deck where everybody's in fighting poses and you call it Deccan? <laughs> That's all you've got? Oh, the rest is up to you. Wow, okay. Thank you, honey. Poor lad. <laughs> it's really getting to him. Sometimes I feel like force negation might be pretty strong, but acceptable in God Eater, especially because most decks are so creature heavy. Yeah, I, uh, I, th I think my brain is warped and rotted by free magic, uh, not free magic, <laughs> free spells in magic. Ooh. <laughs> my mind's not rotted by that. I've told the story, right? How I popped up on free magic once. Somebody said that they've, somebody did the thing of like, Ben, you were on free magic. And I was like, what? And it was just a post. This is so fucked up. It was a post complaining about how, uh, complaining about gay people <laughs> making magic content. Like it was legitimately just someone being like, I hate how there's such a focus on insert, you know, slurs here, uh, making magic content, blah, blah, blah. Um, and somebody replied with like, yeah, the only gays that make content that I can watch are uh, my somebody who I don't know and Ben Wheeler. And even then it's too much. <laughs> Which is just so funny. <laughs> I mean, it's incredibly fucked, but it was just very funny reading it. It was just like, oh, 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 fuck. Okay. You don't want to know it. It's just a hate Reddit. It's just a subreddit full of a bunch of hateful incels, white supremacists. Uh, I mean, you name it. Congrats. Thank you so much. I'm not gay enough for the homophobes. Yep. Story of my life. Oh my god, I can't beat this emblem. <laughs> I don't know how I get ready. I don't know how I win this. I think you just emblem, right? You just emblem and I can't do anything about it? Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. Uh, Ogier 300, welcome back for the second month. Thank you uh, for coming back. It means a lot to me. Uh, glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? This is winnable. Did I change my resub? No, Shaven, that's only for the second month. Yeah, I have, I think I have five different notifications. Courser, oh, that's a good draw. I 
could get Baldur's Gate here. But I think I'm fine on activations. If I just get Gate of the Black Dragon. Ooh. Okay, my hope is that they don't zero. As long as they don't zero, I'll be fine, right? We're at one, two, three, four, five gates. Oh, we got a ways to go. We got a ways to go. Content creator really means a lot as a non-binary person to have all the spaces you are a part of be so welcoming and kind. Thanks, Bill. Uh, I mean, thank you for the kind words. Uh, seems to me like it's the bare fucking minimum. It's, it is so easy to not only, like, it is so easy for folks that aren't in the queer sphere to just not be a shithead, right? Like, it's just so easy to not do that. And then, I mean, this also razzes my berries, is that that is so easy to do, and yet that is something that so many folks do not do. And then it extends to people that do the bare fucking minimum, and they get their flowers for it too. It's, it's, it, it's baffling to me. No, my Courser of Crewfix. It's no, it's, it's no effort. <laughs> yeah. It's a concept that children can grasp. Don't be mean to other people. And yet these fuckers can't. They just don't get it. Mm, oh, right. I don't have a black source. Mm, I can get it from this. I need this Baldur's Gate. Mm. Let's play this Azusa's mini journey. It re it's, it's not only is it not hard, it's in fact more effort. It's just so much more effort to be a shithead, right? Wait, what? I guess the, no 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? Hold up, hold up, hold up. One and two. Ooh, we could scape shift. I mean I think I'm gonna do it if they're tapped out. the plan on getting through that emblem great question next question i think it's only this uh i i, I don't know i have an odawara that i can find that is difficult for them to counter um one two three four I already got my hall. Five, six. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. No, our attacks are really bad here because they just crew. They crew with the bank buster. They eat one of these and then Gideon can take two or they can trade. So they can just eat both of our things. Feel the dead is banned, yeah. Feel the Dead is just, it's such, just an unreal magic card, yeah. A card that more people should be playing in Canlander. I think in Canlander, there's an underrated package of just like playing Scape Shift 
in like a Field of the Dead deck. Just like Bant Control or Bug Control with Scapeshift plus Field of the Dead. Or like just a Rug deck that plays it too. Like I don't think you ever need to play like Rampant Growths in the in Canlander. Um, you just need to hit your land drops and then just kill them. Like you just, we have Ren and Six. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. It's not unwinnable, but it is. Like I need to find my Odawara. Let's also my opponent's being extremely cautious. So I have to like set up a turn where I just multi spell a whole bunch. Which is a possibility. Um, <laughs> gonna play Mooly Do. Crucible is kind of interesting, uh, especially with that fiery is lit. That might actually be our turn, uh, is doing that next turn. I can also, I didn't want to auger this turn. I think I'm going to save auger. Like I have a way to kill my opponent that they can interact with. And the way that I prevent my opponent from killing me or the way that I prevent my opponent, or sorry, I have a way to kill my opponent that they can't interact with. And the way that I get to there is through a effect that they are also unlikely to be able to interact with. So while it looks like I'm in a really bad spot and it's not great, it really is not great. Um, it could be so much worse, especially because blue white decks in this format don't actually play that much counter magic. Like we can push through. I bet I could push through this finale next turn. Also, they can't find my Lair of the Hydra. It's under uh, so many cards. You fool. I can't activate Maze's Zen, though. This turn. I think this is the turn I have to do it, because they, they get to ult the Jace next turn. They found my Lair of the Hydra. No! Excuse me. Okay. So I want to draw this crucible. I'm going to fetch here. I do have Sylvan Scrying in this list, yeah. Here's a crucible of worlds. I 
here's a fiery is lit. Mm, I mean, that does the same thing. Um, so I played my two lands. I can crack this to draw this. I don't really want to draw this. I could go for the finale. If I draw this, though, and I still have all these lands. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with an Elish Norn here. That's a good sign. They're starting to give a hoot about what I've got. They might have Settle the Wreckage in hand, too. That's something I need to... I mean, I, there's not really much I can do about that, but... And then over here. Oh my god. So do they have Settle the Wreckage? What do I get here? Does it matter what I get? I think Uro actually might be the best thing to get here. No, do I want to get something that lets me play my land for the turn? Because they, I think they have Settle the Wreckage. I could get Thalia and the Gitrog monster. I could get Omnath. That doesn't let me play an additional land. Golos would. Hollowhenge is kind of funny. A way to get Odawar in hand. I don't have one. There's no, like, ETB tutor a land. I mean, this seeks a land into my hand. So maybe it is Hollowhenge. Problem is I don't have the mana to... I mean, I guess even if I get rid of this... I think it's... I think it's Hollowhenge. Because if I get rid of Gideon, they don't have a way of getting it back. This lets me seek two lands, so we could get Odawara. Forest... One, two, three. Um, should I attack with everything? I mean, this card, I yeah, I just want to, I want, even if, I don't care if they settle. They can settle me. Make them have it. Yeah, that's fine. This gets us closer to, uh... Killing them anyways. Um, think I'm passing after that. <laughs> Don't think I have enough. I still just need an Odawara, right? We still just need an Odawara. If they're playing my blue white list, which it looks like it's my blue white list, they don't have they only have disallow. And maybe even not that. Pitch the lands for the five fives. Yeah, I guess I should have done that. I it's just like they're gonna wrath at some point. Like how many of these cards are wraths? I think I actually might value untapped lands in case my graveyard gets mucked. But there's no, well, it might scavenge your rounds if they're not my blue white deck. So now the first spell I cast is countered. 
I was thinking about not attacking with the hollow hinge, but then they don't even have to settle. They can just block. I mean, they're still probably going to settle because it's easy. <laughs> where's my where's my boulder's gate 12 green mana off of these two green auger of autumn counter risen reef Yeah. I have to be careful though, because Risen Reef, um, if it is Odawara, I have to not put it into play. Binding, holy shit, that's a way to kill. The Gitrog monster. Play a Fiery is lit. Crack of Fiery is lit. I have a bunch of mana over here, right? Okay. <laughs> There's just so much fucking mana. Destroy my Gitrog monster. I believe I have most of the gates in my deck. I have t uh, 13 gates in total. That's 14. Ooh, that's a interesting land. I'm gonna play Druid class. Level up Druid class. I'm gonna play a Fiery is Lit. Abusing magic. I am going to cast Binding the Old Gods. <laughs> Uh, SGO well, welcome back for the seventh month. Oh my god, wait, what? Activate Maze's End. Put in a guild gate. Let's go! I fucking knew we could pull it out. <laughs> they have counters. Just blue white doesn't have a massive amount of counters, but they still, they, I mean, they only played two, maybe three. They could have soft counters and just like, it, it's not doing anything. Uh, I'll keep this. How is this the most successful deck I've played with on months? No. <laughs> Time for game two. Blue white. I played blue white. Blue black was pretty good too. Yeah, this it's it's up there. It's doing better than you'd think. <laughs> the rad deck, pretty good. I mean, it's better than mono red. I I will tell you what. I think that you have a higher chance of going 4-1 or better out of Gladiator games with this deck than with uh, red deck wins. That's my take. I 
mean, they're just begging the counter or something, right? Red deck wins, RDW. Did I play RDW? Yeah, I played it recently. Is it bad now? I mean, it's still fine. It's it's just, it's kind of miserable, but not. Uh, I think I'm gonna end a turn, fire off this Eureka moment. Okay, we can get it popping now. Give me that. Up oh, left red. Give me that gate to sea tower and maze's end. <laughs> five mana opt. I love five mana opt. I don't know. I don't think Mono Red is. It's a it's a deck that can punish stumbling. I think decks aren't stumbling as much anymore as they used to uh, in Gladiator. Here's a tireless tracker. Part of this deck's resilience is the Gladiator meta has a lot of tempo interacting with mazes and it's quite difficult. Yeah, we get to win on an axis that other decks can't fight, right? It's kind of unfortunate that this is our land drop because then we're still, they just swords this and we don't get the clue, but I think I'm okay with it. I'm still doing, still doing some mazes stuff. We have, this is part of why I'm okay with keeping Ramanap in this deck. It's just, it's cheap. It's a cheap way of um, getting back our Maze's End if it's destroyed. Yeah, we got a clue off track or still. Why not get Boulder's Gate? Boulder, Boulder's Gate comes into play untapped. And so I can set up a, actually this might be a, uh, this isn't going to be a turn where I can showcase it, is it? They're already at eight on this chase. God, this chase is so good. Um, I mean, I could just play Ugin here. Or I could Maze's End for Baldur's Gate and Ugin. Right? One, two, three, find Baldur's Gate. We have one, two, three, four, five other ones. So five, six, seven. No, I'm one off from Baldur's Gate to Ugin. I can do this. Yeah, it comes into play untapped, so it lets me multi-spell or it lets me like Maze's End into something else. Gates of Blaze. We can beat this card. Maze's End is just going to do so much work. Here's a Baldur's Gate. I'm going to play Titanius Command and find more mazes. <laughs> Got to get my big spells out of my uh, hand while I can. Do I think Omnath would make a good father? I think so. Right? Yeah, one short of uh, Eugene. That's okay. We got an Omnath in play. Like, if they spend their next turn by embleming and wrathing, uh, I think I'm okay with this. Because I'm just going to keep mazes ending. <laughs> Omnath is now Phyrexian. Look. Just because somebody turned to a Phyrexian doesn't make them a bad father. Ooh. I 
I have no lands in my graveyard. Oh. Um. One, two, three. Cast Gates of Blaze. Yeah, you can count that. Cast a Lotus Cobra. Activate Maze's End. <clears throat> Get a land into play. I'm going to add a red mana. I'm going to play Maze's End. I'm going to add a red mana. I'm going to cast Ugin the Spirit Dragon. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. I am going to not attack. It's wild how much advantage you can strip away from your opponent with this deck when you just don't do anything. You just play threatening things, but then don't utilize them. And I just think that's neat. How many gates are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this can make eight. Yeah, if they have Field of Ruin, I mean, Blue White plays Field and Demolition, like both Demolition and Field of Ruin. The real threat is my thawing glaciers. <laughs> yeah. No, my Omnath. Uh, yeah, you can, that's fine. I'm going to blow up your wandering emperor. I'm going to lead with a Wall of Omens and get it countered by Jace, Unraveler of Secrets. Uh, I am going to cast... I don't know why I'm announcing everything, by the way. <laughs> I don't... I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, here's a tireless provisioner. That's Maze's End. Conduit of Worlds is very awkward into this Jace emblem. Yeah, but it's a way to get back one of my gates if it gets blown up. Uh, let's get this. Maze's End, Siri play Hollaback Girl. Oh, Hot Bin Juice. If you like Maze's End, you have a hell of a VOD to watch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm then going to activate my Maze's End. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to pass. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is unlocking something in me. I, I just, oof, oof. <laughs> Ruining your sleep schedule for me, Zen. My condolences. Yeah, just keep. That's fine. I would like to kill. <laughs> I'd like to target your samurai. I got a haul of storm giants now. That's kind of hot. Um. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight and this would be nine so if i can get another one um courser of let's play let's do this seven uh, off of this and this let's lead with the courser get it countered by the j emblem And then cast the Rada. No, I want to get the Courser countered so I can get Rada. Because Rada represents, you know, killing them. Like, more so than Courser of Crufix. Um, I mean, I could fire off a big one. I don't think I need to. Yeah, Rada's got the same text, except Rada threatens to just, like, attack them for a whole bunch. Ooh. Treasure. Um, black mana. Treasure. White mana. I'm going to crack this clue. <clears throat> Play the Stalia and the Gitrog monster. Ooh, I get to play this land off the top. Um, I guess I do this now. Saves me a treasure token. That's good, actually. I, I'm okay having that. Because if I get this in my hand, it's another, it's a one mana spell that I can play before I uh, pop off. Pulled back a gate? No, I don't have any gates in my graveyard. I have no lands in my graveyard right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am going to activate my mazes end. I just had white mana. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, but I don't have auto tapper on, so I don't know why to add white mana. Okay, I've got to stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. GG's WP. I gotta stop. I'm sorry. I gotta stop. I do. I. It's five. Actually, I don't have to stop. Let me clear the queue. Let me clear the queue. You know what? I'm gonna clear this queue. I will ask that neither of my opponents play control, though, because I. I mean, I just because I would like to finish this within the next hour. What? Hello? What's up? Oh my god. I can buy you a hot fudge Sunday. You're going to be so disappointed, though. Oh, okay. Wait, come back. Mulder wants to see you. Got very excited when you showed up. squatting has the list changed no i think it's about the same uh sick up if you're here i'd like to fight you 
If C cup is in there, is Mr. Force will here? If not, then I'll just call it here. I'd like to fight the people in the queue, but if the people in the queue aren't here, then I'm just gonna call it because I gotta, I mean, I still have to make some dinner and I wanna make sure. Why do you want a hot fudge sundae? I don't want a hot fudge sundae. Oh my god. On like the coldest day of the year? It's actually insane. Okay. Uh, it looks like neither of them are there. They haven't said anything in chat. I've tagged them. They're not online. I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna call it here. I, executive decision, I'm gonna call it here. Um, yeah, the list online should be the one that I played all day. I updated it as we went along. Um, thanks for watching. I, I let, me, let me talk about this deck first. So this deck, I genuinely thought it would be more of a meme deck, but it goes so over the top um, of other strategies. This is far from perfect, right? It still just looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> but I think it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. Especially because there's so many big decks, right? Like the big mana decks. Like if you brought this versus like mono black or mono white, like big white and big black, I think you would have a good amount of, you know, a good, a good run with it. No, this two mana Nissa was good. I like this two mana Nissa. Uh, we, it didn't really get to shine where we played on like turn two or turn three. Um, yeah, like this card was fine. Just any card that says play an additional land was so good. Um, yeah. I mean, we went, what, 10 and one today? Did we go 10 and one or nine and one? I think it was nine and one. No, because somebody came back, asked how we were doing. I think we went 10 and one. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. We did fight a couple of aggro decks. We fought a lot of mid-range decks. I mean, I, I, yeah, this deck was great. Um, before I go, cardkingdom.com, sponsor of the channel. Use cardkingdom.com slash wheeler to pick up cards. It helps me, it helps the channel. Uh, and uh, what more could you want? Uh, also, uh, there's a Patreon for Shima and Wheeler Love Magic. Uh, you can support the show over there. Uh, we got some cool, exciting news. Uh, Shima and Wheeler, the show is sponsored by Architect now. Uh, and uh, I mean, the fact that both folks that listen to the show and folks that are in the industry like the show and uh, think that there's something there uh, means a lot to me and Shima. Uh, so you can support that. Uh, let me drop the kids off somewhere. I'm not streaming tomorrow because, of course, it's Wednesday and Wednesday is cursed. Uh, but I should be streaming sometime on Thursday. Uh, even though I normally don't stream on Thursdays, just because this week's a little weird, I wanted to try and sneak in some more streaming to make up for last week. Uh, hey, Adam is doing a thing. I think Adam is playing some kind of new game, League of Legends game format with Dan Emmons. Check that out. Go watch that and I'll see y'all, not tomorrow, but the next time. Bye, love you. Remember your mazes end. <laughs>